Hey, Raul. You. Yo, did you know the French fries weren't first cooked in France? No. Huh. <laughs> they were first cooked in Greece. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> All these weeks, that's what you go with? Yeah, yeah. God damn it. Going on a world tour, son. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, hi, everybody. Yo, what's up? To a few women, but they didn't really appreciate it. Oh fuck! So That's was, never. A good yeah. Sign. So he was like, "Yo, what do you tell a woman with two black eyes?" And he was like, "What?" He said, "Nothing. You already told it twice." Oh no! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's not. Oh no! That's not. Oh, yo, so, oh. yo, so there's an old there's an old joke, huh? We going? Oh fuck! This one, of, yo, this, one of those, this one of those like really fucked up jokes that my mom taught me when I was way too young. Oh boy! <laughs> so it's this guy. He's with his wife and they're they're riding a horse and buggy. All right. So the they're you know on this you know bumpy road, the horse trips once, and the farmer looks at the horse and says, That's once. They keep going about a mile and a half down the road, the horse trips again. And the farmer looks at him and says, That's twice. They keep going about another hour and a half. Finally the horse trips a third time. Farmer doesn't say shit, pulls out his gun, shoots a horse in the back of the head. Jesus Christ. Man, now brutal. his wife is losing the shit because she's like, you know, that was their ride. She's like, what are you doing? Now we're going to have to walk the rest of the way. What were you thinking? Farmer turned around, looked at his wife and said, that's once. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is not, this is not how I want to start episode 81 of the Pop Soul Podcast. <laughs> oh, what, what's better than some chauvinism and misogyny? Jeez, no, Chris. no, really. No, guys, I don't believe in that. I'm sorry. Too late. It's out there. <laughs> yeah, it's out shit. there, guys. Welcome to another episode of the Pop Soul Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Raul, across the room from me. Who do I have? A very apologetic, very sincerely apologetic Jay Alvarez. Hi, ladies. <laughs> and returning for another episode. Talk to him. Yo, this is Isaiah, man. What's going on, y'all? God damn it. You niggas are terrible. I'm not even gonna lie. Those I'm, I'm not good. Worst jokes ever. Uh, we also got Jeff and Ryan in the background playing the background. Say, say what's up, fellas. What's good? I'm a guy. <laughs> Hopefully, y'all heard that. <laughs> Maybe. And we got Marcel chilling on the ones and twos back there. How you doing, sir? Hey, All right. All right, we are back. Marcel's to it. in the production booth. That's he's what we're calling that corner. He's in the production now. booth. That's what. That's the production they booth. They can't see us. <laughs> he's in the production booth. Uh, yes, guys, we are back with another episode. Episode eighty-one. I have Isaiah. I have Jay. I got Ryan and Jeff, who may or may not chime in. We got we we got in some discussions that we said just save that shit. So we're gonna save that shit for the do, podcast. Do any of us remember what those discussions? Were? Uh we will. It'll pick up at some point. It'll like, pick up. At save some it for point. the show. It'll never. Fifteen years from now, we'll all be together, and somebody's like. Hey, remember that time? Remember that one time, <laughs> that one story you had? What happened? Oh, man. Still doing production shit. Y'all talk. <laughs> vamp. Oh, the teleprompter says vamp. Hey, guys. So, Isaiah. Yo. What's new with you, man? You, we, we've, it's, it's sad. You were here two months ago. We and in that time, sweet. we've recorded one episode. <laughs> Dead ass. So you're on almost back-to-back -back episodes four months apart. <laughs> <laughs> How's life been? Sorry. Yo, it's It's, it's right, a man. weekly podcast. So... Well, I'm going to start off. So last time I was here, I was like, yo, I don't think I could be with one woman. That kind of changed. Oh, did it? <laughs> yeah, I, I got a girl now. No, oh, how, yeah. how far we have fallen. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, no, no, really. Congratulations. Yeah, that's awesome. How long, you, how long you been with us? Uh, probably like a month and a half, maybe pushing two months. So literally since you did yeah. the show. Yeah, since you did the show. <laughs> Pretty much. Like, that's like, and it was crazy though. I, I didn't want anything. It just like. Just that's how it's on. supposed to happen. Yeah. I didn't That's want fantastic, anything. yo, yeah. my, yo, my girl. So Raul was my girlfriend was the third wheel on yeah. me and Raul's date. Yeah, pretty fucking much. Yeah, okay, it doesn't. Okay, hold on, gotta don't fucking really. All right, no, but we was, it was like you know, it was like straight Indian man. We were holding pinkies and you know swinging the whole time. It was yo, okay, so we went. It, was, it just passed. Was it yesterday? Fucking, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, it was a three. I posted years. it on fucking Facebook because I was going through my memories. We, me and Jay was like, yo, we're gonna go see um Doctor Strange. Okay. Don't worry about yeah. the dog. Don't worry about. It. We can go see Doctor Strange. And he's like, yeah, 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 we're gonna go do that. And Jay was like, I, hey, I'm gonna I'm I'm bring a friend. I was like, I don't, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, because we were like, we make it a group thing, right? Yeah. We put it out on Facebook. Yeah. And then this girl, I, I, I had met her. I'd had like maybe one or two conversations with her. She was my friend's sister. Which I guess it, she still it, it is, still is still my friend's sister. She's still my friend's sister. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but I put it out there. She reached out to me because apparently somebody asked her to the movie. She didn't want to go with him. And she's like, hey, can I come with you guys? 
And I didn't know her that well, but I thought she was cute. And I was like, yeah. You know what I'm not. <laughs> you know what I'm not. Mm-hmm. So she was the third wheel while me and Raul were like That's talking. We were hanging out. Yeah. She's just like staring straight at the movie theater. Because she had a crush on me. I had a crush on her, but yeah. we didn't know that. And I was there for the whole thing. He was there thing. for the beginning. It was great. That's dope. It was great, man. That's dope, man. So you got a new girl. Yeah. After she, all that shit. Yeah, I know. Like that's, that's, that's shit. I was like, <laughs> she was, as soon as like as soon as like we was like, yeah, we gonna do this, I was like, fuck, I just said that on the podcast. <laughs> don't, don't listen. <laughs> so I was like, dang. Don't go back two so episodes like, ago. I'm like, ah, oh, fuck. So no, fuck like that. She should know that side of you. She yeah. should know all of you. No, yeah. I told her. I told Good. her what it was. So yeah, no. She knows that's, that. That's a beautiful so, thing. Now, so 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 we we take a trip now, so we go to we end up going to um, Universal Halloween Horror Nights. Nice. So we go that weekend. Ooh, that's yeah. a vulnerable side to show somebody. Yeah. So, <laughs> nah, she was more. I wasn't really scared. I didn't like really find the shit that scared me was the roller coaster. I'm yeah. not a roller coaster guy. I have oh, my really? eyes closed. <laughs> oh, shit. Yes. And it's Everything like I had else. spit coming out of my mouth and was fainted. <laughs> like, never again. I'm never going to go on a roller coaster again in my life. Oh, no. Yeah, if God wanted me to fly, he would have gave me wings. I'm done. <laughs> I thought you were never. I'm never going to do that. But he doesn't. Shit. That's why we have lap bars. No, fuck that. All right, no. Lap bars was to save me on that shit. Oh, no. Then they was playing Kanye Stronger. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, Cause you had to pick the yeah. song. You didn't pick the song. I picked no, I picked Kanye. Oh, okay, okay. Picked, that shit they that gotta update only, that shit. That was the only option they really had that yeah, I listened to. It was some country. It was shit. like focus, he was like, yo, focus on the music. That wasn't working. That was working. Yo, the rock and roller coaster is the I shit. I threw up in my mouth. Like I'm I'm oh never God. never again. <laughs> Fuck no. And she begged me to go on that roller coaster. Nah. And you know, man. like hey, my, my lady, she's small. You know what I'm saying? So this girl's like five feet and I'm over here scared of a roller coaster and she's like, let's go. <laughs> He's like, so let's like, go. Fuck. No. <laughs> so anyway, so we go to uh so we go to um so we go to fucking we go to Halloween Horror Nights now. So I blew money that weekend. Like I'm not even gonna bullshit you. Like I I blew money. So <laughs> so boom. So uh, we get back now. So I'm driving my car now. I drive my car, I'm everything's fine. I got an 04 cord, by the way. Ran like a champ, like mm-hmm. 200,000 miles. Yeah, them shits don't die. So I'm driving my car now. The shit won't start. <gasps> oh, mm-hmm. fuck this. So I'm driving my car. So I stopped it. I'm playing with the starter. I know it's a starter issue. So I'm like, fuck, it's not going to start. So I end up calling AAA so I can get a tow. And with AAA, you got to pay the $50 to join. And if you need an immediate tow before the three days that you get joined, you got to pay $57. So I end up paying $117 for AAA so I can get a tow just to my house. So I'm waiting on AAA and I'm still playing with the car. The car starts. So I kept the AAA, but I canceled the immediate tow and I got the $57 back. So we were straight. So for the next two weeks now, I'm like, yo, I don't know how I'm going to get to work because this car is not safe. And I live in Vieira, and my job is in fucking Melbourne, Florida. So I'm like, how the fuck am I going to get to work? She lives all the way in Palm Bay. For two weeks straight, she came to pick me up and took me to work and took me home. That's fucking ill. I that's never a lady. That's, that's, a, that's lady. ill right that's there, dope. son. Her, that's my her. girl, and that chick who chugged the 40 and don't be a menace. Yeah. <laughs> that's a lady. <laughs> that's a lady. So I'm looking at her like, yo, like, yo, you really did this for me. Like, I'm not used to stuff like that. And I'm the type of dude, I don't want no woman taking care of me. Like, because you know how girls are, oh, I did this shit for you. Fuck yeah. you, you ain't shit. But yeah. she ain't like that, bro. Like, so boom, so... Yeah, no, so, no, go on, go on. So boom now, so the two weeks pass now, so we get paid again. I'm like, yo, babe, I'm going to get my car. So she's like, I'm like, babe, I'm going to go get my car. She was like, yo, that's fast. Already in two weeks? She was like, yeah. She was like, yo, I'm not used to dealing with guys like you because you move. I was like, yeah, of course. So I end up getting my car now. So I get like a, uh, I get a 20, I think it's a 2014 Nissan Rogue. Mm. So I got the car. It's like, it's an immaculate condition. I got the car. So I'm like, all right, so I'm driving on the highway now. So now when I'm driving on the highway, I'm doing like 120. I'm like playing with the car to see what this car is about. Next thing you know, it de-accelerates all the way down to 80. So I'm like, what the fuck? So I'm pressing on the gas. The shit won't go past 80. So I'm like, yo. I'm like, yo, this car got to either fucked up throttle body or got a messed up transmission. Like, I don't know how to fix cars, but I'm car versed. So I know like when something's off with the car. So I get off the exit now. I, I, I press on the acceleration. It's not going past 25. Then I, I pulled aside, I cut the car off, I cut it back on, then it's driving as normal. So I'm like, yo, this is not right. So now I call, I, I start doing my research on Nissan Rogues. Those cars got a CVT transmission and those is bad transmissions. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, oh my fucking God, what did I get myself into? So I end up calling my warranty company. You know, I had to like, I had to be the angry black man because when I'm trying to be polite, <laughs> nobody's paying me any fucking attention. No, they don't. So they don't. then it gets to the point like, yo, I call them. I'm like, yo, y'all going to fucking fix this car because I'm not losing my job and y'all going to give me a rental. 
he hung up the phone on me. And so I'm like, oh, these motherfuckers is bold. Like, so now nah, I call back now. So I call back now. So I end up speaking with a supervisor. So they end up getting me a rental and they replaced my transmission. So now the car is fine. I got a brand new transmission, but you know, I'm still playing with it. I came over here. I was doing like a buck 20 on the highway. The transmission is good. So now we straight. That works. So that's basically what I've been up to, man. A whole bunch of car troubles and work trouble and a great girlfriend. It's yeah. good. It's yeah. good. <laughs> the last part, the car trouble, yeah. not so much. But you yeah. got a new car out of it. So yeah. congratulations. So, I needed one. I was I was being cheap. So it was about that time. Yeah. It's so weird having somebody that doesn't want anything in return. Yeah. But it's, my girl's the same way. It's the first time I've ever been a woman who does something. And I was like, all right, what do you want back? She's like, I love me. Mm-hmm. Basically. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> right. Now just right. be a good boyfriend. Mm-hmm. I don't know how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like different because like I'm naturally aggressive. Like I'm like I'm like I'm a really aggressive person, and she's like really shy and sensitive. So I catch myself like when she does things I don't like. I gotta like kind of like speak to her because I don't want to scream at her because she's not gonna take it like everybody else would. Like yeah, she's really sensitive. So she's making me like control how, the way I speak to her and stuff. So like I'm thinking more before I talk to her. And I've never had a girl that like that I've done stuff like that. For that's her. that's a neat trick. Yeah, I am yeah. also learning how to think before I say yes. Word. Word. So yeah. bro, how's that single life, bro? Uh, huh. well, money man. Well, hold on, wait a minute. You, you gonna get, so it's my turn. Yeah, your turn. I, I'm the host. I was gonna go last. No. Oh shit! Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, my bad. Yeah, no, you, you had, you no, you started doing the South stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, I do y'all thing. This is mutiny. How oh. was your week? Oh, well, I'm a fat fuck. Oh shit. Uh, yeah, no. So I got on the scale this morning. 295 pounds. Ooh. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Damn. No, you it's not okay. though, man. Shit. Yeah, it's not okay. I would have like 260 most. Yeah, that's not bad. Yeah, no, no, I don't, I don't want it. You're solid. Though. That's <laughs> I don't a good want solid. it. No, no, I'm not solid. No, I'm jiggy. I'm about as solid as a marshmallow, maybe. For a big dude, yeah. you're solid, bro. Yeah. You yeah, okay, okay. That. For a big dude, yes. Yeah, For a big dude, I'm, I'm more imposing than other big dudes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I'm yeah. more imposing than the guy who works at the comic book factory, the comic book store. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I look like I live with mom as opposed to living with mother. Yes, I get that. Facts. <laughs> but now, so we've been going to the gym. Uh, Pretty regularly, except for the last two weeks, because we got sick and we got lazy yes, and we got yeah. fat. Like this weekend, I'm pretty sure I put on 15 pounds because Halloween candy is delicious. Yeah, it is. And all those, I, I got to go through and pick out all those poison Reese's peanut butter cups. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, it's really, I'm really doing a service for my children. Absolutely. That's by eating thing. all those poison Reese's peanut butter cups, I'm building my immunity and letting them see that that's how it's done. Facts. Yeah. Also... <laughs> Fuck you, kids. We give you life and pay your rent. We eating this goddamn Reese's peanut butter kids. <laughs> right. Um, so that's that's been a struggle. But the gym, we I came here from the gym. I can still feel my arms. I might not tomorrow. Mm. Um, also Wednesday, I get to go to Miami. Ah. Uh, there nice. will be no Will Smith song playing because fuck that. Especially, <laughs> um, I have child support. Oh. I have a child support hearing coming up. God damn it. Yeah. I'm on it. I'd rather be on it though. You know, you know, here's the thing. So I got, I, we got on it because I wanted to be on it. Cause I didn't want it to turn into a thing where, you know, he's 18 and she all of a sudden says, he never gave me nothing. Facts. I'm not that responsible to keep receipts. It's not going to happen. True. Yeah. Let's put this on paperwork and, and it worked. It went well. And to be honest with you, when I'm, my child support now is less than what I was giving her out of my pocket. Yeah. So, see, it, it, we, so I ended up paying her exactly what I was paying out of pocket because the judge asked, you know, she was making really good money at the time. And yeah. I was living on a futon at the time. Yeah. So we came to an agreement prior to going into the courtroom on what I was going to pay. And we told the judge and he looked at our financials and said, you know, that's more than what I would tell you to do. I said, well, that's what I'm doing now. So it works. He's like, how are you doing it now? I said, well, why am I paying her money? Said, how much does it cost you? About $25 every two weeks. He's like, raise it $50 a month. We'll have it come out of your paycheck. Sound fair? I was like, okay, cool. So instead of giving Western Union my money, I'm giving her, I'm giving my kid the money. That's yeah. perfect. So it worked out. Yeah. So now, uh, eight years later, the tables have turned. I am making way more money than she is, mm. <laughs> and she has work. She's making McDonald's money. So now my comeuppance has come because I've been getting a free ride for a little while on this one. Yeah, brother. Yeah. I got I got a notice to come to court. They're going to do an adjustment. And I said, damn. But I had to fight it because they had my. I don't know who gave them my financials, but they had me making like six thousand dollars a month. If I was making six thousand dollars a month after taxes, you think you see me here ever again? <laughs> <laughs> you would never see my ass ever. So how's your relationship with her? Like, is she giving you a hard time? Or? No, I'm trying to figure out should I say this song. I'm like, yeah, fuck it. There's no alimony coming up out of this. Okay, oh, there you go. Yeah, no, we get along. It, it's like the seasons, yeah. you know. Like, I paid my child support this week, so we're okay. 
Um, but it comes out of my check. So it's like that. I don't know. She, it, it goes to stages. Sometimes we get along really well. We can chit chat. We can talk about the kid. We can, you know, you know, be good. Like, you know, how's your family? Are they doing well? And then other times it's just like, like, I, like, if I call her to say, hey, how's he doing in school? You can call him and ask him. Wow. Mm. And it's like, did I, did I offend you? Did I well, do she's something? She's going through the motions, bro. Yeah. Yeah, that's really all it is. She, she's, she's one of those people, she's constantly, she's mad at her life and she takes it out on everything else. Uh, which that. is why I'm not with her. I don't want to say that's a lot of women, but that's what it comes to. That's a lot of people. Yeah, there's, people. there's a lot of people. Like, it doesn't have to be women. There's a lot of dudes like that, too. Okay. The, um... But yeah, for the most part, though, I know more men that take more accountability, though, and just that's just my personal opinion. No, 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 no yeah. it's true. There's more, but there's also a lot too. Yeah. Like, there's a lot on both sides. Okay. Yeah, um, I dig it. So now Wednesday, I got to go to court. I don't know if she's gonna be there because I had asked her about it. Say, hey, when I got the, I, I first got the summons, like, are you trying to raise the money? Because if you need to, we can talk. Yeah, like you can just. I get it. I know you're not making a lot of money now. Yeah. You, we can talk if we need to raise it up. We'll raise it up. We'll go to court together. We'll do the same thing and amicable. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. like, oh no, I'm just trying to move the case out of Miami Dade County because neither of, neither of us live in Miami anymore. Okay, oh, okay. so I was like, oh, okay. So I thought she was just petitioning to have it moved out of there because if you have a child support case in Miami Dade County, you can only go to court in Dade County. Damn, you can only go to the child support office in Dade County. You can only call the child support office in Dade County. That's what mine because it's so many in Dade County. Yeah, but if you have it in any other county, you can go to any child support office. You can go to any huh. court. You can go to any. It, it doesn't matter. It's just Dade County is the only specific one. Okay. Gotcha, gotcha. So neither one of us live there anymore. She's trying to move it. I'm like, okay, that makes sense. She's like, they yeah, didn't don't even worry ask about me to it. go to court. They just said, yo, send me. Um, they was like, how much do you make now? Be truthful, and I told her. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. So that's essentially what it was. And she was like, no, don't worry about it. They're probably sending it out because I'm moving the because I'm trying to move the case. I said, all right, cool. I didn't think nothing of it. Four months later, I get a I get a notice that I ain't turning my financial affidavit. And they assumed how much money I made, oh. and they're gonna have me pay this much in child support. So I like wrote a note, in, like wrote a letter and sent it to the court, like nope, because I had thirty days to dispute it. I was yeah. like, no, 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 I, I don't make that. I don't make that, that much all, money. Sir. I don't know where you got these numbers from, but that's not me, son. Yeah. And I, if you make me pay that much child support, I'm not gonna be able to afford to pay child support because I, I'm not going homeless first. <laughs> Facts. Mm. Mm. So That's got that the off the book got shot. that got that court date on Wednesday. Fuck, should go easily. Hopefully she's not there. I don't want that life. <sighs> I feel like it's coming, but I don't want that life. Yeah, but you see, you're gonna be on the receiving end. I don't think it's gonna mean? come for you though, because you. Oh, uh, you say Mason just okay? Because yeah, because you have your son a lot, so yeah, I don't I do. see you being on it. I hope not. I see. More no, you, you you have you have primary. He's his primary residence is with you, right? Yeah, I mean he lives because the he's, court's he's gonna make you, you share. He li- Florida he's doesn't with ha- me all the time. Yeah, Florida yeah. doesn't have custody anymore. They just have the residential parent. Gotcha. It, they, they, it's sharing. Gotcha. They don't. The word custody doesn't exist in our legal system. Huh. Um, but if you're the residential parent, yeah, you get the money. Yeah, and I can refuse it. Oh, yeah, you can refuse it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, you yeah. The, either par- the parent that's with the child can go to the court and say, "I don't the want." The only any way money. you like, can't refuse it if you were trying to get like public assistance. Yeah, yeah, I don't need. That. Yeah, if you're trying to get public assistance, they'd make you take child support. Yeah, but mm-hmm. if you're not, you just, I don't want. Look, I just wanted to spend time with the kid. Yeah. Outside of that, I'm good. Yeah, yeah. that's all I need. Court will take that. Shit. Well, give me more power to you. I hope everything works out, man. Should be fine. Cool. We'll have a, something to talk about next Monday when hey. I come here yelling and screaming. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Uh, Ask Poe. <laughs> Yeah. How have you been, Raul? Well, uh, since the last time we spoke, I've aged. Uh, My brother. I'm 31. My I actually man. got to celebrate. Old motherfucker. Yeah, I'm, old, uh, I'm up there, man. I'm happy up there. birthday. <laughs> Thank you. Happy, happy birthday, strong. man. Hey, 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 there you go. Hey. He knows. He I knows. got your crib by your 31st. Yeah. You can't yeah. beat that, bro. I can't. You're blessed. It, no, listen, man. I look at a lot of things differently now, and I I can't. I, I have to just count my blessings and keep it pushing. Yeah. That's all I can do. But I, I did have a good birthday weekend. Uh, aside from spending it with my man Ryan and Jeff that came through, we went to the Sabrina Claudio uh, show I I, I nobody I, gave me an invite. First of all, you knew, nigga. Uh, you knew, nigga. We uh, always talking about it. Uh, you knew. Uh, nobody was uh, aggressive with it though. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I gotta say, um, I ain't gonna front. You know, being a homeowner, it it, it it's it's fucking stressful. A lot of shit is. Uh, I, I realize a lot of things are not working. <laughs> oh, we need. Yeah, hold on. I want to. I'm, I'm listening to this now because we just started talking about possibly buying a house. Oh, so okay. yeah. No, talk me out of it. Let's go. So, oh yeah, yeah, yeah no, yeah. So check this out. Because right so, now I feel like it's a good idea. So I went to go. I went to go microwave some shit. The microwave don't work, so I gotta buy a whole new one. Really? The dishwasher doesn't really. The dishwasher uh, display didn't work. 
Got that fixed, but then the rack is broken inside, which I already knew I was gonna fix it myself. Gotta fix it. So they're that not gonna fix that for you? They gone. They they out here. They out here. I'm not I'm not they gone. Okay. I can, if I can do it, I can do now it. Now it's his just, house. You already closed on it. Yeah, I already closed. Yeah, ain't nobody in the car. That's so it. So all of that is weighing on my brain. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't want to do a goddamn thing. That's why I don't want to own a home. I'm too lazy. Uh, You know what? No, owning a home, when, once you get that in you, you ain't lazy no more. I promise you. I, I've been doing shit that I've never done. The only reason I'm considering buying the house now with, with her is because we do so much... Now, like exactly. I just fixed the washing machine. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that was the thing I could do. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to learn how to grow grass because yeah, that sounds me and my way son better in my part. head. Yeah, <laughs> you're doing that shit. But yeah, I'm trying to learn how to keep a lawn and stuff. Like I get excited when we pass hardware stores. Yeah, yeah, me too. So you that's, that's I mean? what's like, happening like, now. This is how I know I'm ready for home ownership. This is what's okay. happening now. So I'm, you know, all that stress is weighing on me. I was like, you know what? I don't like spending money when I have to spend money on other shit. Like, I'm not about to go ball out for my birthday and then go back to bills. Yeah. So I didn't want to do a goddamn thing. I have to say, my birthday was made very special because of one person and one person only. Uh, she goes by many names. She hates that I call her all these names. Okay. Uh, Megalodon is one. Uh, Megalodon. Meg No Stallion. Yeah. Uh, Megan No Trainer. Uh, she went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Megalodon is not really sexy though. It's right? not, but it's just... that's her name. Like I don't call her nothing else. <laughs> uh, MJ is what she wanted me to call her. Uh, it was made special because of her. She came with me to the concert. If you call uh, her MJ, does she call you Peter Parker behind the closed doors? Oh, we have that's the cutie that she was posting up with. Yeah, okay. That's the one. Okay. Uh, I was like, okay. We I have a you. different name, you know. It, I'm gonna say it. She's gonna hate it because it's, it's a thing. It's all. It's, so we were watching something. I forgot what it was. But Porn. It, it, it's gonna sound like porn. Uh, <laughs> you got, you know, I'm a Batman fan. So they were like throwing out porn names. He was like, "Ah, oh, it's gonna be Batman and Throbbing." That is our name. <laughs> <laughs> so, so oh, that's fantastic. So yeah, man, the Megalodon definitely made the, the my weekend. <laughs> Super, super special. And I do appreciate it. Um, Batman and Throbbing. Yeah. Dude, that's going to... That for the it's, rest of... For all of humanity, this yeah. exists on the internet now. Yeah, no, this is never going away. <laughs> um, yeah, we went to the Sabrina Claudio show. Um, I met Ryan and Jeff, uh, a couple of our friends out there as well. Um, it was a great show. I like, Sabrina Claudio was dope. You listen to her? Nah. Oh, my nah, God. You guys, I was listening if you like to, Snow? Yeah. If you I like Snow, listening, you like her. I was listening to her on a little snapshot I was posting and shit. Yeah, bro. I like her music. She's dope, man. So she, she's good. Um, And she got me a lot of gifts. One of the, 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 the best gift that the Megalodon got me was a record player. Nice. And I, I was talking about it because I want to do like a whole history of music shit in my house. Like in the... In, oh, you, I haven't seen it yet, but... In my uh, formal dining room, I want to do like a history of music, so record player, tape, cassette player, yeah. some kind of CD player, and like a bunch of uh, memorabilia yeah. uh, in that area. And now I want to start a record collection. I want to get like old school R&B shit, like sure. only classic hip hop albums, like the first Jay-Z album, Reasonable yeah. Doubt. Uh, I, I got to get certain things. It would only sound good on vinyl. So I, I kind of want to start that whole... Uh, Thriller Michael oh, Jackson. He's becoming, he, you, yeah, you, yeah. You're becoming that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be that guy. You heard the sound of vinyl. It's just the sound of the tube. No fucking with it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. the truth, though. It's you know what's wild, There's the quality in vinyl that you yeah. can't find in CDs. Yeah, you can't. no, no, for sure. You can't. Yeah. You're Same never going to get it you now. find an 8-track. Yeah, you're never going to yeah. find it now. You know what's crazy, too? So a couple of weeks ago, she was like texting me uh, asking me like top 10 songs of whatever, whatever, whatever. I was like, why is she asking all this? So it's like top 10 lists of my mom, Mason, me, theme music and all that shit. She put like a song from each of those lists on a on a vinyl, like a mm -hmm. custom vinyl and it plays. I was like, you you really, all right. <laughs> you're trying to you're trying to be the one. I dig it. I, I respect it. Um, so I like that shit. I'm going to start a little little vinyl collection. Okay. It's gonna be great. Uh, it's 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 gonna be different. Uh, I'm still gonna buy because I was gonna buy another uh, record player for that area because this one now is gonna go in my room. Yeah. It's red. It matches the room, so it's gonna go in the room. So that shit's dope. Uh, shouts to her again. Appreciate you. Um, after that wonderful weekend, after those wonderful you know gifts and and seeing you niggas and taking pictures. First of all, these two try to get me drunk, and I, they know I don't drink. I'm a Christian. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with y'all. <laughs> this my man over What's here. What's that got to do with the Catholics drinking church? I don't know. The church doesn't. I'm gonna go get some of this church wine. Facebook. You want some? <laughs> get his freak on. Yo, <laughs> oh, what's his name? Yeah. Pastor. What's that pastor, pastor name? Something. Ah, that nigga yeah, nasty. Oh, yeah, he, I watched the video. Nasty, oh my god! Somebody nasty, said that to nasty. me. She was like, "Oh, look at." I was like, "Oh, oh, I don't want to watch that." 
Um, but nah, they tried to get me drunk. It was I. Right. I had a bottle. Of, I've never had Bel Air before. Had mm-hmm. a bottle of Bel Air. She was great. Drank the whole bottle myself. I was a little. I was tipsy by the time I saw y'all niggas. Anyway, so I'm a Christian, but I drank a full bottle. <laughs> hey man, listen. Pick, pick, I, Jesus I, I, didn't waste shit. I like to pick and choose shit from different <laughs> religions. Yeah. You know what I mean? Jehovah's Witness don't celebrate Christmas. I, I gotta go. Can't fuck with y'all. Uh, anyway, after all that wonderful weekend, I got fucking jury duty on the on. It was on the 29th. That's Bruh, good. Right this on. day of work. No, I'd rather be at work. That's, really? I don't like anything to do with the judicial system. I don't want to see cops. I don't want to be in a courtroom. I don't want to feel like a criminal. I hate all that shit. Just answer it wrong when they interview then. Yeah. Listen. No. Well, you know, cause I'm scared, so I, I answered everything truthfully. It was like, like cause, cause you know how you can get out of it by saying, oh, you're this or you're that. I was like, no, I'm not any of that. Because I feel like they're going to fucking find out anyway. Uh, good thing about it is I didn't have to go upstairs and, and see anything in the courts or anything. They called my name by like 1130 so you can go home. Cool. Because last time I was there, I was there till like 3, 4 o'clock. And it got me all the way into a courtroom. And it was some... Am I able to talk about cases? It was some drunk driver, bitch. I don't know. And I was like, oh, somebody was killed by a drunk driver in my family. I don't want to do it. That bitch is going to fry. I said, just like that. And they was yeah. like, sir, you can go home. Out of here. Uh, so jury duty was all right. Uh, after I left jury duty, I went, you know, picked my son up or whatever. And me and him were riding. Okay. He loves music, listening to music. And we were listening to uh, Travis Scott, Antidote. Another song my son should not be singing in school. Don't you let the popping pills is all we know. That's not what he's supposed to be Remember singing. Remember when the song you couldn't sing in school was like, Can't Touch Us? Yeah, well, shit. That shit changed still, from that now. Yeah, super changed. So he's listening to it. He was like, hey, you know, this guy is really rhyming. I was like, yeah, son, that's what rap is. He's just rhyming words. Yeah. Like over and over. Like, just don't. He's like, I want to do that. I oh was boy. like, oh. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I want to do that. Now, 10, 20 years ago, if my son looks at me and say, I want to be a rapper, I'm punching him in the face. Like, no, go to school, do some shit. Now, I mean, if Lil Pump can get it, you know what I mean. Lil Pump, Lil Windex, Lil Lil Dildo, like everybody can get it, everybody can get their yeah, shit yeah. off. Fuck it, dude. Do you do you do your thing? He was like, Nah, I'm gonna wait till I'm older. I was like, Well, you could do it now, son. What's the what's the problem? He's like, No, 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 no. I want to be able to use bad words. I was like, Ah. <laughs> well, at least okay. he's honest. <laughs> yeah, I was like, Yeah, that's about it. He has the respect to wait till he's older. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, no. I love I love that about it. It was like, Yeah, no, no I'm not gonna say bad words though. Yeah, yeah. I was like, Nah. I was like, If it makes sense, he's like, No, Dad, that, that's a trick. I, you can let him know that Little Wayne didn't start off saying bad words either. Uh, uh, no, and that's when I started. Uh, Rock him. Rock him yeah. doesn't have bad words in his songs. He got bars. So never... I don't know why I'm oh, saying. Oh man, I never yeah. thought about. Yeah, that. Rock him never yeah, really. Rock shit. Don't early, curse. early Will Smith or Will Smith period doesn't. Yeah, Will Smith don't curse. You know what I mean? Um. And we're gonna get into it later, but there's a Kanye album with no bad words. Like there's a bunch of rappers. I was like, listen, you can do you can do this without it. So I'm, you know, I'm making him listen to different beats and all that, ha- have him get his thought process together. I was like, just rap about anything. Going to school, waking up early, uh, me, your mama, anybody, anything you want to rap about, you can rap about it. Do your thing. Uh, so I'm trying to not push it. I'm trying to uh, foster that. Okay. Yeah. If you will. I was like, if you want to do that, that's cool. I have get no him into poetry. That. That's, he, that's so what he can I said. learn rhyme schemes. That's what I said. And I was like, because that's what he's that's what he's doing in class right now. Not poetry, but he has like different words and things. I was like, write all of that down. Give me some sentences with these words. Th- that's another thing too. Because my mom used to do that shit. Make it was a punishment, Yo, but I don't want it to be. Yeah, when I got punished, too? I, I didn't even. Punny was using the dictionary. Big pun. Yeah, that's how yeah, he got yeah. his balls. I got up. punished. I wouldn't write out of the dictionary. They made me write out of the encyclopedia. That too. There ain't no encyclopedia. Yeah, so I started. <laughs> it got to the point where because at the bottom it says C also. Yeah, and so I would just skip to that part, and I would just write that out. And I'm over. I learned Greek and Egyptian mythology just doing that. Right, and that's I, what I, I want him to do. I was like, if you like word, if you try, if you want to use different things, you got. And this is why he's reading more because he's good in math. He's like getting good grades in math. Yeah, he's good in reading as well. But math is his shit for some reason, and that's dope too. So I was like, oh, yeah, do your thing. Don't worry about it. So the other day he came to me and his mama and his sister, all of us. He's like, hey guys, I learned a new word. I was like, what do you talk? What do you what do you do? He's like, I know what this down here on the girl is called. Uh, I was like, what? Oh, pray tell. I was like, what is it? My man with a straight face. He was like, a Joanna. Call the cops. I was like, say it Call again. the police. I was like, say it again. <laughs> He was like, it's a Joanna, Dad. I was like, yeah. <laughs> First of all, what conversation were you having yeah. that that came up? Who were you did, talking were they, to? Were they, were they also watching Joanna Man in class? Like, did he just... Fam, <laughs> I highly doubt it because it's a super white school. But I was like, that's... I'm yeah, no, not- no. Miguel Nunez flies in an all-white school. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm never calling it anything else ever again. It's a Joanna now. 
This is Jawina. I was like, is the other thing called a Jawinus? Like, I don't know what, where you get all this shit from. No, Dad, it's, it's a genus. Oh, God. <laughs> My man, listen, Mason is hilarious. But, like I said, I'm going to foster that thing. We listen to music, we listen to beats. I'm having him listen to different, different styles of music because I don't want him to just listen to that. I said, these people, Travis Scott's influences is not primarily rappers. It's everything. So yeah. I was like, just listen to everything. See what happens. Yeah. Um... I don't know if I should talk about this last one, but it needs to be said. So remember last time, last episode, I was like, my daughter got a job. Oh, yeah. And yeah. And I was like how, you know, a couple of years ago, you come to me with some anxiety bullshit, and I'm like, yo, fuck yourself, go to work. Yeah. But no. I told her, she, she, she you know, had a job working at McDonald's. McDonald's is busy. Anxiety kicked oh, in. Wow. Yeah, yeah, anxiety kicked in. Yeah, no, no, don't feel bad for her yet. Anxiety kicked in. It's called growing up. Yeah, mm hmm yeah. Kicked in, she was like, I can't do it. I was like, all right, all right, all right, don't worry about it. Call out, come over here, relax, chill, go back tomorrow, you do your thing. Well, that happened. And she went to work, she was doing her thing. Then, uh, like, a couple weeks later, it happened, quotations again, with the anxiety. I was like, all right, at this point, it's not anxiety. This is what me, your mama, Jay, Isaiah, Ryan... Every morning gets up and say, I don't want to go to work. Oh, it's just called 7 a.m. Exactly. Facts. It's called being an adult. I was like, you're not having a fucking anxiety attack at this point. You're bullshitting and you don't want to go into work. You don't want to go to work. And you that's fine. I would rather you say that. And and I will pep talk your ass into going. But you're not about to, I'm, I'm going to call out. No, you have a whole car now. For nothing if you you have out. a car that has insurance. You got to pay all that. You got a phone bill. That, you about to get cut off. Yeah. Go to work. Go do something. Anything. I, I told her. I told her to go apply at a movie theater. Go apply at Arby's. Nobody ever goes to Arby's. Yo, go, yo go apply. don't sleep on those sandwiches, though. I've never... I've never... I've been here almost... 13... <laughs> yo, Jeff is disgusting. God damn it. I've been here almost 13 years, and I've never seen anybody once in that Arby's at all. Ever. That, ever. That Arby's is good, though. I've never seen this. I love like, Arby's. Huh? You had Arby's? Nah. Damn, I've never had that shit. I don't I want that. I bought the fries from um, Walmart, though. Those are yeah. good. Put it oh, in the, the fries are amazing. Go for the fries. Try anything with bacon. Oh. Their bacon is amazing. All right, I'm going to give, give it a try from the white guy. Uh, but yeah, I told her. <laughs> it's like, listen, you're not... This is you're, Now you're using this as an excuse. Before, I felt bad. I just came from seeing the Joker. The world failed him, so he's going to fuck the world up. I don't want you to become the new Joker. I'm sorry. Come home. Yeah. Let's do this. Let's talk. You just don't want to go to work. That's different. As every adult you've ever met in your life, they don't want to go to work. Even if you get a job of doing something that you love, you're still going to wake up one morning like, fuck this shit. You know when stand-up comedy stopped being fun for me? What's up? When it started becoming work. Mm-hmm. Mm. Right. Because that, that, that thing they say, oh, if you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. That's bullshit. Yeah. Because you don't, you don't sometimes you don't want to do nothing but play PlayStation. Facts. Facts. Today, and, but I still got to go make these, I still got to go make this money. Today was the <clears> first day in a long time that I just didn't do shit. I needed it because I was exhausted. I woke up, took base in the school, came home, and never got back up. Man, mental health days are good for you. That shit was great. Yeah. Oh man, I'm so refreshed right I now. Take one a month. month. Yeah, I need. I need it. I'm gonna start doing that shit because I've been going since fucking August. Since yeah. August, so I'm I'm, I'm with that. Yeah. I, I used to be really good about scheduling. I'm not gonna lie. I, I, I be gotta taking. Get, mad, I gotta get back in the habit. I be taking mad advice from fucking Isaiah. This nigga I take one a month. This yeah. nigga. This nigga looked at me the other day. He said, "Hey man, what you do for your skin?" And I was like, "Uh." Uh, I'll wash it? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> He's like, you need to stop drinking sodas. <laughs> you, need, you need to drink more water and go exercise. I was, this nigga sound like the nigga from that, that college commercial. Remember that shit? <laughs> oh, Everest Why college? you sitting on the couch? Get the fuck up. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe, you know what? Maybe I went to, I went to Win Dixie so quick and got 100% juice and two cases of Aquafina. I was like, I'm like, this nigga, this nigga right. Look at his skin. I can't. If he was looking at me, telling me that yeah. shit, and he had bugs, I was like, nigga, what the fuck are you and talking about? I stop I, drinking water. That's when it all come back. You know what I'm saying? See, I'm, I'm fucking with it. It's, it's, it's gonna clear it up soon. I, I'm taking bad advice from these niggas. You, him, Marcel, y'all, y'all are good peoples. I appreciate y'all. But that was been my Anytime, month. Brother. Yeah. <clears throat> we're good. Yeah, man. Yeah, uh, we're, all, we're all alive. We're all alive. That's all that matters. Facts. I wanted to just come in here and see what you guys have been watching on TV, though. Oh, we 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 still haven't plugged the show. Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, yeah, guys. So yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the Pop Song Podcast. Jay, Raul, Marcel. We got Isaiah in the building. Uh, Ryan, Jeff. Appreciate you guys. 
Uh, you, you can find you, us on social media. Yeah, you can find yeah. us on social media at the Pop Song Podcast on Facebook, the Pop Song Pod on Twitter, the Pop Song Podcast on Instagram. Nobody really shows us love on Instagram, but do that. Yeah. Uh, you can email us at no dad, no dad jokes at gmail.com or give us a phone call at 321-405-2219. Yeah, good job. Oh, man. I didn't even look back at it. That was, <laughs> that was bad choice of words. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, are, we yeah. just, are we just singing Uncle Luke songs for the rest of the day? What are we doing? Huh? Oh, you, you went to Uncle Luke on that one. I went to fucking uh, A Boogie with the hoodie. <laughs> you don't even know who that is. You're over there laughing. <laughs> uh, Yeah, guys, uh, definitely find us on those social media outlets. We do appreciate all of the support. We are on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, iHeartMedia. Where else can these catch us? Podbean, iHeartRadio. Whatever you're listening to us on now, Mm -hmm. just refer, just send the link. Send the link, rate, review, uh, not SoundCloud. They don't want us. We don't want them, whatever. Yeah, that's fine. You know what I mean? Uh, We do appreciate all of the support. Uh, It feels weird to have to plug the show on the show that you're listening to, but... You know, yeah, you know, just just, nice. just share it, just share it. Shameless, what is it? Shameless self plug. There you go, there you go, uh, fellas. What are y'all watching? Wu Tang, Wu Tang, Wu Tang. Okay, Wu Tang. Right. I haven't started it yet. So you That's haven't so started it. You I have haven't. Hulu. I do have Hulu. Okay. Yes. All right. So you're missing I, out. You're missing out. You're it's missing it's out. really good. Uh, it's the really only thing good. I don't like is that Hulu is dropping one episode a week. Yeah, that shit annoys my soul. <laughs> and I get, look, and you know what's really what's weird? We grew up like that. That's that's how it's supposed. That's how to be. it's supposed to be. That's how it's it just, is for every other, everything else. Yeah, except for Netflix. Yeah, fucking one week. I, I, and I get it. That's cool. They have to get. And I'm glad they kind of did it this way. It's just me being spoiled because you can tell the shows that are building up to the next shit. Yeah. Um. But yo. This is a good show. It's man. dope, man. This is a good show. I see, I see nothing but good things about it. Yeah, it's the acting is good. Um, and it's dealing with a lot of things that we're going through now, like police yes. brutality. Mm-hmm. You know, they're dealing with a lot of um, censorship now. Mm-hmm. Like it's 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 a really really good awareness show. of self is a big thing yeah. about it. Um, yeah. They're showing the five percenters. That's yeah. when they like they appreciated the black man. Yeah, they think the black man was the original guy. No offense to anybody here. I'm not saying that's true, but it's a lot of things like that's uplifting our people. Yeah, that it's a lot of TV. it's a lot of positive so, positive things yeah. on there. Um, and for me personally, I love biopics. Yeah. I love to know what went on behind the scenes of what happened. I never knew RZA had a fucking solo career. What was it? Ray, uh, we love you, Rakim. Oh yeah, Prince Rakim. And I yeah, seen Prince it on Rakeem, YouTube yeah. too. Look, yeah. you look it it's, on yeah, I watched yeah. the video. No, oh. you want to know why I knew that? So back when MTV used to show music, mm. um, when um, oh what was that? What was that double album that came out? Uh, Wu Tang. Oh, I don't know. Wu Tang Forever. Wu Tang oh, Forever. When Wu Tang Forever came out, they yeah. did a whole documentary, like a whole half hour. It was like MTV News. Did a whole. It was like an hour actually. Yeah. Uh, they did Wu Tang, and then they went into the because at the time everybody had a solo career also. Yeah. Right. And right. they were talking about how it was so how how they worked a deal with Loud Records that allowed them to also sign to different record labels solo. Like Method Man was signed to Def Jam. Yeah. Um, Raekwon was signed to Loud. I think. Mm-hmm. Every, you know, like everybody had their own deal. Yeah. And that was unheard of because. Before it was like everybody's on this deal on this record label. That's it. Yeah, and uh, they went into Prince Rakim doing that. Jizza had an album that came out before Wu Tang. Also, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've seen that and, and that's the only reason I know that is because MTV taught me something. Yeah, <laughs> nah, man. That that Prince, I, that whole Prince Rakim shit, lame as fuck. Yep, it was yeah. bad. <laughs> it was bad. And the thing with RZA, RZA is a, is a genius. Riz is a genius, but he's like on a different level. So like, you remember when he did that that showcase? He's talking about the whole fallopian tube shit. Yeah, it was dope. It's just not for that. Like that's yeah. not for the masses. So it it explains. That's how like they had Lupe to fiasco. Yeah, like because Lupe. Lupe's nice. But you, what the fuck is he saying? So, yeah. Like, you need a thesaurus to listen to Lupe. <laughs> you about to let these niggas go crazy? Like, what is he saying, son? Like, then oh. I was like, then he's like, you listen to Lupe, not to like not to stray off, but you listen to Lupe. Then you'll listen to his song breakdown on YouTube. You'd be like, oh, shit. Exactly. There's layers to it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. I'm still decoding to this day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like no, like you're like right. 10 different albums. Yeah, like, right. uh, I, I can't listen to Lupe for too long, man. He hurt my head, man. Yeah. I want to hear some dumb shit sometimes. Sometimes. Man. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta give the dumb shit. But um, the Wu-Tang series is, is definitely a must-watch. I just finished it. 10 episodes. Yeah. Um... It really goes into a lot. It goes into, you know, like I said, the Radio Raheem shit. Radio mm-hmm. Raheem, sorry. Prince Raheem shit. Yeah. Uh, fucking, what's his name? Dave East as Method Man. 
surprised the shit out of me. He's good. He's good. You know what I got to complain about, though, about that show? What's the up? dude that plays Ghostface. All right. The dude that plays Ghostface, he's doing a good job, but he's too serious. Ghostface is more of a jokester. I think for that, that like that portion of his life, yeah. I think he had to, his house. Spoiler, but you know they're alive. His yeah. house gets shot up. You know what yeah. I mean. His mom is a drunk, and then he got his two disabled or or. Yo, uh, his brother's brother. funny as hell. That niggas is funny as fuck. Is wild oh, funny, two, it, it, they're both yeah. like they're in wheelchairs, but the like the one that stutters talk shit all day, all day. <laughs> all day. Like, like, how long does it take you to set up a VCR? You dumb fuck. Like <laughs> that, yo, it's the funniest shit. Like, does, does he know you, you, you fucking his sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he be going off. Yo, that little dude is hilarious. Yeah, like, he is. But I think for the, I think because of that juncture, he doesn't have anything to look at in a positive light. Okay. So That's I think enough. he has yeah, to be real, serious. Real, real early on, I remember Ghostface being in some real early interviews. He was like, I don't want to fuck with that dude. Yeah, like okay. to this day, niggas but don't want to fuck with him. It, it wasn't until he came out with that music video with Speed Racer. Yeah. Okay. okay. People were like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he got a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I, when it started like, coming out. I like Ghost. I, I like Ghost. I know that he got Riz's sister pregnant. I, yo, I, so that shit tripped me the fuck out. Me out. First of all, Rock Ray Kwan shot his house up. Yeah. That part, like that whole intermingling shit just fucking me out. So you fucking risen sister. Yeah. This nigga over here almost killed you and your family. And y'all together? You know what made me kind of sad though? Wait, ain't Ghostface um, and Rocky? Wait, uh, him Raekwon. and Raekwon brothers? No. No, no. No. Now they were ops at one point. Yeah, Why was I always under the impression they were brothers? Mm -mm. I guess because now they tight. They got that bond. Yeah, now. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let Wikipedia save this. Home. What you One about? thing that was sad though was when they killed the Spanish nigga, man. Oh, yeah. yeah what was, when, but, all right. And they showed him what his life would have been. Yeah. That, that shit kind of hurt, son. But, fam, all right. He had it coming, though. He, he had, had it coming. Die. He had to die, and, son. No, no, it's not that even that he nah, had to he die. Had he to was die, stupid. No, nah, he had to die, He dog. was stupid, Yo, man. He can't run up on me with a gun and not expect consequences. Exactly. And wear the same you know colorful ass sneakers. On top of that, you, you, you breaking into my crib. I'm getting it on with my girl. My girl naked. My girl scared. Yeah. You know, like, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Yeah, so yeah he, he had... It, 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 it sucked that it had to be him, but, you know, he knew what he was doing. Then on top of that, how you gonna rob a nigga in colorful Air Force Ones that nobody got? Exactly. And then wear the like, nigga chain. Doing? He wore the nigga chain out in public. Like you doing? If I'm, I'm setting up the robin, nigga, I'm having black Air Forces on. Hey, black everything. You're not That's gonna see it. nothing on me. If you see anything on me, that means I'm there to kill you. Man got, man got Lucky Charm Air Force Ones robbing people one on ones. Not like, good. Come on, son. You gonna not die, good. my nigga. Not good at all. You don't fuck with Jamaicans, all right? Facts. Uh... <laughs> But nah, it's a good show. It's a it really, is. really good show. I definitely want you to, to get on it. I'm still I'm still on this Ray Kwan and Ghostface related. Yeah, I'm 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 not wrong. They, you wrong. I don't think. I probably am. No, like, you're I, wrong. I'm, you're I'm, not I'm, I'm more than likely wrong. Yeah. Nah. Um what else am I watching? Oh, you was talking about um what's that show? Living with yourself? Living with yourself, yes. The show with Paul Rudd. Yeah. Um surprise I I like Paul Rudd. Mm -hmm. I've liked Paul Rudd ever since Clue. That's Ant Man, right? Yeah. yeah Ant Man. Yeah, okay. Ant -Man. He, he he he! I like to say he is this generation Steve Gutenberg. Oh, okay, but not as cheesy. Mm -hmm. But he can be. He can do, yeah. And, and it, this show, so I didn't. So living with yourself, I only watched it because Lorraine told me it was really good. She had heard really good things about it. Other people that had watched it said they were hearing really good things about it. I never watched the trailer for it. I never read a synopsis for it. Mm -hmm. I just knew it starred Paul Rudd, and that was enough. Okay. 20 minutes into the first episode, my mind was totally fucked. I had no idea what was to expect because I didn't know what the premise was. People who watch the trailer, uh, spoiler alert, because it's been out for about a month now. And this he, is on Netflix. He, Netflix yeah, and it's yeah. on Netflix. Okay. He clones himself. It's multiplicity. Yeah, yeah. I love that movie, <laughs> it's, by the way. it's Michael yeah. Keaton. It's multiplicity. So now I think he's this generation's Michael Keaton. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I had no idea what this was. Like, he went to the spa and I was like, all right, this is going to be interesting. It was a clone. I'm like, oh shit, they cloned him. Mm -hmm. And my girlfriend's like, yeah, you. You didn't watch the trailer for this? No. I was like, no. I And I forgot how fun it is to watch something knowing absolutely nothing about it. So I'm making 2020 the uh -oh. year of no trailers. Yeah, we can't do that. We have a podcast. I, I walk out of the room. <laughs> I walk out of the room. Yeah, like I'm, I'm going to be giving my opinions on upcoming movies based on actors and posters. All right. Okay. Let's go see how all that shit lasts. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm probably not it's long. not gonna last. I'm not long. expecting a lot. Black out Widow trailer's about to hit. <laughs> Black Widow trailer's about to hit. Eternal trailer's about to hit. Fuck you. Will. Yeah. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I I think I think I'm gonna stick to it. Yeah, I think right. so. All right. Well, listen. I'm, yeah, I, I did start it. Uh, it's one. Of, all right. So, right now, 
I'm I don't have my own room. I'm in Mason's room. Okay. So it's fucking his rules. That little bastard. <laughs> yeah. Like, he was like, no, dad, we're watching YouTube. I was like, what the fuck is this? You're watching a guy watching another guy play a game. This is weird. I do that though, bro. <laughs> it's annoying, I fam. That, I don't know what's going See, on. You gotta be a gamer to respect that. If I, you're not a gamer, you're not gonna listen, understand it. And I keep telling him, you need to get your YouTube shit popping because yeah. I don't know what we're doing here. But this nigga has a million and five views. Get on it. PewDiePie was one of the guys that first started it. He's worth 20 million right now. See what now. I'm saying? See what I'm saying, Mason? Get on it. I need you to release a song and a video for your video game platform today. All right, you got five See, years and you can kicked out. It depends on how you want him to express himself because they got this little nigga on YouTube. He funny as fuck, but he bad. Oh, no. He be cursing and shit like no, that. No. So I don't know if Mason's going to be able to take the goodie shoe shoes route and people are actually going to watch that. I, I don't know because most of the little kids that are doing big on YouTube... They bad. They bad as fuck. Nah, he's not doing that. He's not selling his soul. My, my mama will kill me from the grave. Yeah. Having my little son cursing like that. So, Mason got time. He yeah. got time. He look, and he's he, like, Joanna, he's still innocent. Yeah, Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you want to keep him like that yeah, so for yeah. as long as possible. You don't want him... Me, personally, I'm the type of father, like, I want my son to be a little boy for as long as possible. Yeah. Because when pussy gets involved and women, you know, that's when shit goes left. Mm-hmm. So I'd rather him just stay a kid for as long as possible. My man tried to get me the other day talking. He gonna ask me. He was like, um, so is the Flash real? I was like, nah. Nah, it's not real. He's like, what about Spider-Man? We saw him in, in, in New York. I was like, nah, it's not real either. He said, so what about Santa Claus? I was like, uh... I, I still believe in Santa. <laughs> I told my kids from when they were baby, Santa Claus is fake. Oh my God. I'll buy your presents. He's not listening I mean, to Santa I'm Santa. just the type of person, I'm realistic with my kids. I'm not going to no. lie to them. No, I, you're right. My son hit me, so I tried to keep the magic of Christmas alive. Mm. But of course, he asked me about religion, and I'm like, yeah. Nah. So he, he, he one day he hit me with the so. You want me to believe that the fat, bald, the fat bearded guy in the red outfit is real, but the dead bearded guy on the cross isn't. Mm. And I was like, mm, your son, you make you up your own mind. You believe in what you want to yeah, believe in, and I'm just not going to judge you. Yeah, man. And he's like, and then so he told me, he's like, it's okay. I only pretend to believe in Santa Claus because I know mommy likes it. I'm like, attaboy. That's there how you know. do it. <laughs> That's yeah, how you do he, it. He definitely hit me and told me, like, yeah, I know you, I see mommy and, and you wrapping up presents, so I know you guys get it too, but you're saying Santa gets it too? I was like, yeah, sometimes. All right, stop asking me questions. Go to bed. Santa gets it too. Depends on Mrs. Claus's mood. Oh, you are disgusting today. All right. I'm that, on it. That dope <laughs> shit. I feel you, brother. But yeah, man, um, we got some entertainment news that we want to touch on, hit on a little bit. <laughs> um, I keep hearing some weird stuff. I hate being in the production booth. Um, uh, okay, before we even get to Kanye, because that's a whole thing. Yes. Uh, we're going to talk. We, I got, we, uh, we talked about it right before the podcast. We really don't. Really care about his movies, but you gotta give Tyler Perry some praise. He's doing it. You gotta yeah. give Tyler Perry some he's praise. Doing I, I've never seen a Tyler Perry movie, but I also respect the hell out. I'm like, no, yeah. no, no. He's good at what he does. Why don't you watch movies? I don't like him. It's not for me. Yeah, they're not, it for, is me. not, it's for, not me. for me. I's not for me. I'm not trying to see. Yeah, I, it's I, you know for me. I go to movies to escape. His shit is too. Some, some of it is too real. The thing with Tyler Perry movies, what I have a problem with, he's always making like the black man or the black father look bad. Yeah. Then you got the dude that comes and picks up the pieces. Like it's so predictable, and mm -hmm. I'm just getting tired of it, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. why See, can't you just make a movie where everybody's positive, everybody's a doctor yeah. and a fucking lawyer, and you know, like don't make a movie where you're 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 head of a corporation and you're helping a single black mother who baby father ain't shit. Yeah. Like, like make something positive. Exactly. That's that's, that's what I, that's my whole thing with Tyler Perry. But but aside See, I, from that, okay. See, my my beef when like when Medea started coming out. And it's like, Medea, I'm like, we've seen this before. Martin did it. Yep. Mm -hmm. Martin Lawrence did it. Yep. Ernest did it. Yeah, Eddie Murphy did it. Yep. Still does no, it. No, before Eddie Murphy. Oh. Ernest. You, it was oh, old yeah, Ernest. Yeah, Ernest yeah, gets stupid. Those. Ernest gets stupid. Yeah, yeah. 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 He, he would dress yeah. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same Medea outfit. Shit. Oh, you're right. You're yeah, right. I'm, I'm pretty sure they're close. Shit, Grandma. Pull it up. I remember that. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I started watching them like, why is he getting... Famous off of the, we've been we've seen this before, that, and that's when I'm like I'm not into it. But I see what he does for the community. I see what he does outside of that because he was also Jack Reaper for a movie. Uh, Jack, uh, Jack Reaper. Yeah, what? yeah, 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 yeah. I remember that movie. Yeah, yeah that's a throwback, bro. He was. Yeah, Shit, yeah. You remember that? Jack yeah, I do. Reaper? Oh, because I remember yeah. hearing Tyler Perry. Yeah, really? Tyler Perry <laughs> was uh he was an assassin or some shit. I think he was the bad guy in that movie. Was though. it Alex? No, no, he was the main character. I think he was. But was he, was he a, a no, 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 it wasn't. No, it wasn't Jack. Alex um, Cross. 
Alex Cross. Alex Cross. Cross. Alex Cross. Right. Yeah, right. That's who Morgan yeah. Freeman was in Seven. Ah, uh, really? Yeah. That, oh, it's an Alex shit. Cross. Yes. Okay. okay. But that's what I remember because I was like, Tyler Perry playing action. And they're like, well, that guy eventually becomes Morgan Freeman in, in Seven. I was like, oh, that's okay, dope. yeah, I can see that. Yeah, that was dope. All right. Well, yeah. But yeah, when I saw that and I saw he was branching out and doing stuff that weren't Medea movies, I'm like, okay, good on him. And he I heard good Turtles. things about him. I'm like, all right, yeah. cool. So not my type of movies, but I can, it's like, I, I can hear music. I'm like, eh, it's not my shit, but I get it. I appreciate the hustle. Yeah. Right, right, right. Well, you know, he like I said, he just did his Tyler Perry Studios in Atlanta. And I didn't even know that that's where they did Black Panther. That's where they shoot The Walking Dead. Mm -hmm. uh, they're doing what Bad Boys Three right now, yeah, uh, and coming to America. I didn't know all that went down there because I thought the studio just opened up. It, he, it, I guess, it was in talks. I guess he was, you know, making the money for all that. But so was it? Was, so when they did Black Panther, there was it still Tyler Perry Studio or was it somebody else's studio? I don't. I'm not sure about it because okay. the, yeah, because that is the same. I guess he must have purchased it. I'm not sure exactly how that works. Okay, but thank you. It was done there. A lot of the Marvel movies is done there because if Black Panther yeah, was it, done there, it could just be that he bought like a like the majority stake in, in the studio or something. Like, no, no, no. He's sole owner. He's the sole owner. Sole oh, so owner. yeah, he probably just bought it out. Yeah, money, money. that boy. He, got, if he the sole owner, he making yeah, money. He, money. He, that's all him, and that and that shit is commendable because you know I've heard his story, you know, homeless, uh, you know, abused as a child, all this other shit to come and do this. His story in regards to that is, you know, this used to be, uh, uh, the grounds used to be owned by the uh, the civil, not the civil rights, what's, what is it? The Confederates. The Confederate Army or whatever. Yeah. He was like, you know, they used to plan and, and, you know, try to keep black people in the slaves and now this one black man owns the entire land. That's dope. That is I, cool. that's, that's inspiring. That is, I like shit like that. Again, not really a fan of any of his movies, but I may watch them just to support the black man because he, he's, he's doing well. Yeah. He's doing goddamn, and each of the like the sound stages yeah. are named like after like Spike Lee, Will Smith. Uh, okay. Fucking, I think Oprah has one. Ava DuVernay has yeah. one. Like it's all Sidney Poitier. Like a bunch of black, uh, you know, actors, actresses, directors, influencers are the names. The, of the groundbreakers. Studio. Yeah, that's dope. So I, I I wholeheartedly love that entire story. Um. So shouts to him. Good on Praises him. to him. I, I, we we were definitely gonna watch all the movies that come out of that. Bad Boys Three is coming, <laughs> coming to America too. Yeah. Coming. I'm watching that shit, even though I didn't think it was real. It's there. Man, uh, they've been talking about that movie for years. Yeah. I'm so happy that they finally. Oh making my it. god, I'm with it. Yeah, we're gonna talk about another Eddie movie. I Eddie think we Murphy. started. I think we talked about them shopping that movie on one of our first episodes. Yeah, yeah. actually, yeah. If you Two go years back, ago, I think they're like, oh, they announced that they're they starting production, and I still was like, nah, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, but um. I don't know. You guys want to get into the movie reviews first, or do you want to do this Kanye shit first? Uh, let's close on the Kanye. All right. So uh, then, uh, some movie reviews. Yeah, Let me Kanye scroll down. the whole topic, bro. Where we at? That's all. Oh, oh, I don't know. Bing bada, bing bada. Oh, movie reviews. Hey, there we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, we got two. We got two of them. I almost, I just hit my lip. Um, <laughs> Jay, yo, you saw it. Uh, was I did. it Adams Family? Saw the Adams Family, bro. Is it good? It is. Oh shit! It's good if you like the Adams family. Okay. So it was a cute cartoon. There was a, you know, it was, it, there was a lot of you know adult humor in it too. But if you grew up watching the Adams family, my friend, it was a treat. Okay. Because okay. I look, I used to grow. I used to watch the cartoon when I was a kid in the nineties. Yeah. Uh, I used to watch the old TV show with my grandmother. Yeah. She loved watching that stuff. Yeah. And then I watched the movies with Raul Julia and Angel and uh, Angela Houston. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. those were ill. Like those. Those, those are some dope. of my favorite I movies. Still watch the Adams those. Family and Adams Family Values. So, you know, but but all three live in their own separate worlds. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like the movie doesn't really talk about the cartoon. I mean, they're all based on each other, but they don't really reference it. This one. Reference all three. Really? It referenced the old TV show, referenced the old cartoon, and it referenced the, the old Damn, movies. It was that. perfect the way they did that. And it's like, it's really for the diehard, like, Adams Family yeah. fans. Because mm. there was, it was me and maybe two other families in there. Um, and Lorraine and I kept looking at Jay and Annabelle, too, because she watched the movies. So whenever they would drop a reference, she looked like, oh, that's from this. And we're like, yeah. And then the song, the, the elk, it was so good. It was just like an Easter egg heaven. That's really nice. all it was. Nice. Yeah. Um, and then the movie itself was pretty cute too. It's kind of like Shrek. There's enough adult humor in there to keep the adults engaged, okay. you know. But then there's still a lot of kid humor that kids will like and appreciate. Um, I loved it, man. I, I don't think it's doing enough, but it's if you like the Adams Family and you wanted to take the kids to see something, that's a good one to go see. We're in the time right now where the movies that's coming out right now are just trash. Yeah. Like for this last, like probably for the past like three months, the only <clears> good thing that really came out to me was Joker. 
Yeah. Yeah, no, this is Oscar season. This is where you're starting to get a lot of like R2 or movies. Okay. And, uh, you know, like the ones that show for like two nights at the Sundance Film Festival, you never hear them again, but it wins all the Oscars. Yeah, you never fucking see them shit. What I do want to see is Maleficent too. I do want to see that. Uh, The first one was good. First one was good. This one looks like it has two Edgy Edgier for it. And uh, you know, it, it, most of the shit that he does, I'm with. I haven't watched Twelve Years of Slaves, and I will never watch that. But most of the shit that he does, amazing. So I, I want to see what he does in that. I'm not a big Angelina Jolie fan, so I don't really care for her. But I was excited was with good. the trailer, but then I started hearing mumblings about the movie. I was like, oh, you know who's it. funny? Her father, uh, John Voight. John Voight. John he's John hilarious. Voight. You ever watch a show called Ray Donovan? Yeah. Oh, he's on that. Oh, he's, he's that. hilarious. I haven't seen the show bro. yet. I want to. It's on my list. He's hilarious, bro. Yo, you. <laughs> you gotta no, watch I like that. John Voight. John Voight's yeah. a great actor. Yeah, he's, yeah he's 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 amazing. Like he was like incarcerated, so he's basically a thug, and he likes nothing but black women, but he hates black men. So, but you gotta see, <laughs> you gotta see him. <laughs> he hates black men, and he come to find out he has a child that's half black. Oh my so, god! So <laughs> this is great. This is great. So I now, love her mother, but I hate her father. So <laughs> so now he he hires two black prostitutes. So his son is like kind of like disabled. He has like a disabled arm. And he was like, son, come here. He's like, son, come here, watch this. He's like, lady, start twerking for me. So he has on a do-rag while they twerking. Yo, the, yo. <laughs> <laughs> this shit sounds amazing. Yo, you got me in tears, yo. You got to watch that show, man. I, want, I just want to watch that clip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah he's fucking hilarious, yo. that shit right after this one. But yeah, man. What um, the fuck are we talking about? Dolomite oh, now. Oh, Adam. Uh, <laughs> so, Adam's family. we leading in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so Don't Dolomite. Do-rag. Dolomite. Dolomite. Uh, Eddie Murphy is the best comedian to ever walk on the stage. Really, in my personal opinion, we was I was having a conversation Mm -hmm. with my my man right next to me. I think that he's funnier than Richard Pryor. Mm, But he got everything from Richard. But he took it to another level. (laughs) You you make it Jeff cringe right now. Hold on, I'm gonna pass the microphone over to Jeff. I had to do it to him. Yeah, but yeah, you you good, man. You good. I understand that's his life, but Eddie Murphy overall is funnier than Richard Pryor. I just want to say... Hold on. Wrong way? There you go. Oh, it's not? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, talking true. to the left. All right. Yeah. I just want to say this one thing about Eddie Murphy, how wild problematic it is <laughs> if he does stand up right now. I know he's coming back, but I want you to realize that throughout Delirious... Raw, raw, raw. I said dangerous. That's a bust album. But throughout, throughout all of his actual stand-up specials, the man has one consistent thing: <laughs> he does not like gay people. And then you find out that he did the whole thing with the trans, with, with the, the trans- transsexual. Mm-hmm. Now he's like, let me, um, let me make Jamaican music real quick. Don't yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> That song was hot too. I ain't gonna fuck lie. Don't that forget. shit was dope. Yeah, you know what? We on the, we we having these vibes. We on the island now. Like that's your man's though. Okay, mm. I'm just saying that's the funniest man to you. I'm not. I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna rip him out. I'm not gonna take a title away from him. Eddie Mer- Eddie Murphy's still Eddie Murphy. He's still funny as hell. Mm. It's just is he number one? I don't know about. So who? All right. So who's your number one? My number one is Richard Pryor. Right. Richard Pryor. Now. That's his life. He's not trying to be funny. They just found out he was funny, threw him on a stage. He was like, oh, shit, well, here I am. Like, that's He's just being him. I don't even know. Is he doing his? All right. I don't even know how to explain what no, he's doing. No, no, back to that conversation now. Paul Mooney. Oh, fuck you. Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney wrote for Richard Pryor. Mm. Okay. Yeah, he did. He wrote for him. Yeah, he did. So, okay, he, wait, he, wait, 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 wait. Let me finish this part. He wrote for Richard Pryor. Paul Mooney is on record stating that Eddie Murphy is better than Pryor. He wrote for that man. Here's here's my beef with comparing the two. The two are different. Richard Pryor was one of the first black comics that came out storytelling. Mm -hmm. Okay, not one of the first that came out, but one of the first that got big doing it. Because Paul Mooney and Negro Yes. yes. Paul Mooney is Negro yes. Damas. Yes. 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 So, and, and Paul Damas. Mooney was in that same camp. They came up about the same time and they were kind of the pioneers as far as black comics go telling stories like that because it used to be the, that was the, that was the era of the party records. Yeah. That's where you had like Red Fox. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where you had all these other comics. It was just them telling jokes and you would play these records at house parties. Yeah. And that's why they got called party records. Um, Richard Pryor kind of broke that mold because you have comics like Lenny Bruce that were coming out, which is my favorite, by the way. Um, but you had all these comics that were coming out being more raw, being more real. You know what I mean? Starting to talk about their own life stories. Yeah. And Pryor was kind of the first black guy to put a big face. And the only reason he got bigger than Paul Mooney is because he's easier to look at. 
Mm, Paul Mooney yeah. is a great man, a hilarious man. But when it comes up, what face do you want to see on TV? Yeah, Richard Pryor looks Pryor. a lot better. Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's all about how marketable are you. Yeah, you know okay. what I mean. But Paul Mooney is also amazing, and the fact that they wrote he's, together, he's my second. Yeah, no, he Paul Mooney's up on my top. I think three, I think sure. Paul Mooney's funny and Pryor, in my opinion too. Yeah, think, don't like yo. I'm not trying to disrespect the great Richard Pryor, but. He just wasn't that he funny. Wasn't but it's all subjective. Eddie Murphy came up after Brian. You're right. He yeah. knocked it. He took it to the next level. Yeah. yeah. So it, you know, it's the same same type of storytelling. My only, the only reason I give Richard Pryor the edge, is because. Richard Pryor felt more personal, whereas Eddie Murphy feels like he's making up a story to tell. He's telling a great story. Yeah. It's a fantastic, he's a great story. He doesn't like to talk about himself. But I noticed that. Yeah, but Pryor's like, Pryor felt more real to me. Pryor felt like he was being more honest, where Eddie Murphy's like, how can I make the story funny? And he did it. Yeah. Robin Williams? Oh, Cat Williams? You know who reminds me of Richard Pryor? I, I'm, I'm, I've got a very hard Patrice O'Neill. Cat Williams. Patrice O'Neill is, is another one. He's good. He's dope. Wow, give me a minute to process that. Patrice O'Neill reminds you of who, I'm sorry? You're Richard Pryor. Patrice O'Neill kind of reminds me of him for some reason. That's like, I'm, I'm not even going to say that's a stretch. I'm just like trying to break that down. Like, that's it kind of he re reminds, reminds me of him for he, like I the raunchiness it. and everything. It's raunchy. He tells the story. There's something really wild to the way that Richard Pryor tells his story. Yeah. It's almost like he's reliving it in the moment, yeah. which is where I could see the personal thing coming from. Because yeah. like you listen to him and he's going and it almost feels like everything is ad lib. Like, yeah. You know he was there. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And I get the the thing about Eddie Murphy too. Like it just feels like so structured in a way. Like it feels like yeah, I went up here. You know, it's coming. Like this next joke is coming. This next joke is. Coming. I think that's why he, he did so good as um, Rudy yeah. Raymore. Okay, okay. Rudy Raymore, yeah. like he, like like editing his stuff. Mm -hmm. That's probably why like he did Rudy Raymore so good because Meticulous. like you got to realize like Eddie Murphy is the forefather of current comedy. Everybody's putting on a dress. Everybody's trying to be a different character. Mm -hmm. Everybody's doing these things. Eddie, to me, in my opinion, he really started that shit. Like, if you look at, like, Coming to America, Vampire in Brooklyn. Yo, I just watched that shit again, too. Yeah, like, Vampire in Oh, Brooklyn. Vampire in Brooklyn was my shit. Yeah. That's my yeah. shit, bro. It's still oh, awesome. man. John Williams was in... Um, John Williams. Oh, um, John Witherspoon. John Witherspoon was in... Yeah, uh, uh, R.I.P. Sorry. R.I.P. We, we gotta say R.I.P., man. Yes. Yeah. How we forget... How Pops. we forgot to give Pops. shout out to Pops on Pops on? Bang, bang, bang. The bang, whole bang, reason we're named Pops on is because yeah. of Pops. Pops. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He was literally the inspiration. Like, hey, Pops. Yeah, we, yeah. we were even trying to see what we could do to get his soundbite on yeah. the... And we found out we could grandfather. Yeah, man. Oh, granddad. Pops. Granddad. That's nuts. Yeah, R.I.P. to granddad. Yeah. And I just found out who his son was. Who's his son? Did, you ever seen on Facebook, they do the confetti thing where you can win money? It's like a black host. No. Oh, I've seen it, but I don't. I don't remember the face. That host is his son. Holy shit! He's also a comic. He's really good. He's actually. What's his name? JD. JD. Yeah. JD Witherspoon. JD Witherspoon. All right, I gotta look him up. I had. I had no idea. I didn't know either. I didn't know. Um, the Dolomite. Uh, no, we were talking about Dolomite. Weren't we? Dolomite. <laughs> I loved it. And by the I way, my it. favorite comedian of all time is Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Bernie Mac. Oh. oh. Bernie Mac. Yeah. Bernie Mac. But he's not better than. Uh, no, you know what? Let me. Let me no, 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 no. Right. Bernie Mac's another one like Pryor, where he, you know he was he like was when there, he's telling man. that story. Yeah. You know he's telling you what he saw. Yeah. I, yeah. I, don't get me wrong. I love, love. Oh man, that love Def Eddie Murphy. Oh, that Def Comedy Jam set. Yeah. Love yes. Eddie Murphy. Love Pryor. Um, Cat Williams. Uh, he had one or two good stand ups. Yeah. Uh, they're all yeah. They're all the same. Kevin Hart is is he was funny earlier on. You know what I mean? Uh, but Bernie Mac, man. You know who's the sleeper though? So. Damian Wayne. Damon is the funniest Damon, one. Yo, I told you he's, he's gonna be at that spot next week too. He's, he's hilarious, bro. Him and uh, Tommy Davidson. Tommy Davidson. Tommy Davidson. Yeah, oh, he's funny. Yeah, Tommy he's Davidson. Is funny. Yeah. Dave Chappelle. Dave Chappelle. I've seen Dave Chappelle. Oh yeah. Yeah. Cha Chappelle. I don't want to say Chappelle's my favorite stand-up comic, but Chappelle's definitely my favorite writer. I've Chappelle's seen him in person before, right. before he was famous. Mm -hmm. I feel like Chappelle's a cop out. In Washington Square Park in New York City. My mother, we used to go up there on the weekend sometimes, yeah. and he had a performance, so we all gave him money and shit. He was funny. No, he's funny. And they gave me his, his special, all of them. All of them I think he's more, he's more like sitcom funny, sitcom funny to me. Like, I don't, mm. like, I'm like, I'm, I'm different with comedians, bro. Like, like I tell you, right? I'm just different. Like my favorite comedians right now, off top, would be like, would be like uh, Eddie Murphy mm. and Will Farrell. Like I'm just Will like Farrell. I like goofballs. So you like, like so you you like yeah. them more? Okay, yeah, that's okay. Just, like everybody, everybody got a different style. 
I can you know, do. Like, I don't want to see. I don't want to see uh, Dave Chappelle in another movie. Like if he's in a movie, he has to be doing something serious. I, I want to see him see do another Chappelle show. That's what I want to see. I could. I could do. He's yeah, he's big. Like he's not. He's scary. Yeah. Big, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um. But back to Dolomite. Shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Dolomite. It, it was good. I did like. I didn't it know that it was real. I thought. Um, that whole, I I didn't realize it was part of the black exploitation and all that. I I never knew. You didn't know Dolomite was part of the, really? I didn't. I didn't oh wow! Know, I didn't know. I didn't know anything about that shit. I, I've heard the name before, but I just thought it was like I thought it was a remake of an old movie. I didn't know like oh. this nigga really made them shits. What I liked about Dolomite is that he uplifted the regular looking black woman. Mm. Yeah, like that mm. big girl. Like oh, you're not yes. going to see a whole bunch of Beyonces walking around all nope. the time. You know, like he he embraced her. He said, "Yo, love, you're funny. That dude that cheated on you, that broke your yeah. heart, that's not taking care of your kid. Fuck him. I got you." Yeah. And he stood by her, mm-hmm. and he didn't want nothing out of her, just her friendship. Yeah. And he loved her. That was dope. Like that, that is shit dope. touched me right there. Cause that is dope. I look at like although it was a funny movie, but I I'm the type of person I pay attention to like a lot of cinema cinematography and stuff mm-hmm. like that. So the way I process things sometimes may be a little bit different from people. What he did for her was dope. Yeah, no, that was a that and, was dope. And it's not so that movie is not just a comedy. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's 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 more, and I don't want to say drama either because it wasn't on that type. I of I laughed, level. but I didn't like roar. Like yeah, I was yeah, more interested it, in the movie. You was interested in the movie, into yeah. the story, into the, you know what was going on, and you was invested. Like you, yeah. for the, for the first. What ten minutes was him and Snoop Dogg? Yeah, like that shit was amazing to me. Yeah. Him trying to get a song played or some shit. Then he had Wesley Snipes who bodied it, bodied it. But yeah, See, Wesley I, I want to watch this movie so bad because for me, the last good Eddie Murphy movie that came out was Life. That was a good. That movie. was a good. One, and I yeah. forget how good that movie no, was. No, no, you didn't like I Spy with Owen Wilson? Nah, you I ain't Spy. Like the, um, Kelly I, Robinson, Fifty Seven and Wait, when, baby, wait, I wait, when did that, wait, I Spy? You, when did, you didn't like that? When did that movie come out? <laughs> Years yeah, like ago, that. it was in the, it came out in the two thousands. Yeah. Oh, early two thousands. Yeah, he was basically okay, so, Mayweather on steroids. Okay, so, so I have to explain. So I have a year. I have a year gap in okay. my life. If that movie came out in two thousand three, I was in Iraq. Okay. So I, I like, there's a whole year's worth of like entertainment. People it's on Hulu. like, oh yeah, that happened. And like, I was, like, I was in fucking Baghdad. Watch I don't know. Hulu. It's, it's with him and Owen Wilson. I gotta watch that shit again. Okay. Shit, wait, I spy. I know it was Owen Wilson. I didn't know it was Eddie Murphy. Why did I think that was somebody? I, oh. Owen What's Wilson the movie that Owen Wilson Murphy. did with Jackie Chan? Uh, Shanghai. Shanghai. God damn it, that's what I keep confusing. You gotta, with. yo, bro. Okay, you know I gotta give that. Man. I gotta Please give that a shot. That movie, so, man. do you think with this Dolomite, you watch Dolomite? Do you think this is like gonna be the resurgence of Eddie Murphy? Because I want to see more from him. And now, now that he we started got- resurging himself when he started doing all these interviews. Yeah, um, it, well, yeah, it started with yeah. the whole car, comedians and cars getting coffee. No, no, it started with him appearing on the Saturday Night Live 40th yeah. anniversary show. Oh shit! So he, because he hadn't been on Saturday, he was one of those people that were quote unquote banned from SNL. Yeah, but then he came back. Um, He's about to do it again too, I think. Yeah, he is. Uh, if he didn't already, it's either coming up or it just passed. Yeah, not yet, right? It's coming up. It's coming. Okay. Um, so. He that's that was the start of it. He's been his marketing team is amazing mm-hmm. because little by little he you haven't seen a lot from him, but you've heard a lot about him. Yeah, and his marketing team has been really good about getting that word of mouth out. Which is yeah. gonna put these little bits. We're gonna we're gonna seed it. We're gonna seed everything. Mm-hmm. And over the next couple of years, because they his marketing team's been working on a year years long plan. Yeah, it's just been more and more information and more things and more and rumors his and more projects somewhere. and. Was that? You didn't hear about his like his fucked up past somewhere either, like him being caught yeah, yeah. with the transsexual yeah. and everything. Like we were just talking about that because we remembered it. Nobody's it, talking about that. No his anymore. marketing team has been yeah. doing astonishingly well. Yeah, and, and just laying the groundwork for an Eddie Murphy comeback. And to what you were saying on you know his old standups being you know about gays and all that shit. Listen, that was him. It, I, don't, I don't like it to use the, the term. I hate, I hate I hate to use that term. It was the times. But hey, yeah. It is, it I'm is not times. trying to hear his different I'm, times because yeah. you're faking the funk. Exactly, exactly. I don't like no, that. It, if, no, it is. It is. No, you got to think about it because it is for the times. There's a, there's so many things that are changing that become more. What taboo to talk about? Not even tab. Yeah, taboo to talk about. Yeah. Social but but here's the thing. Well. I'm just the type of person. I'm honest. Like yeah, here's the thing. That's just me. Like it's I don't comedy. care if you like it or not. Like I'm gonna tell it's you what comedy it is. I grew and- up in a Caribbean household. Mm. Yeah. It's cr- like, you already Duh. know what's going on. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. we Jamaican over here. Growing yeah. up, yeah. growing up, you hear the wildest things. I could have turned out. I could have turned out crazy with the way that I thought about people. Yeah. Mm. Over time, it was either you pick what they're saying, you pick what, you know, what's going on for real, mm. and yeah. then you realize that even what they're saying is slowly changing. Mm. Like I think it's time. It really is time. It chips away 
over time. Like he's mm. in the entertainment business of all things. Like he, I'm sure he doesn't have these same thoughts anymore. Yeah. I mean, obviously. <laughs> Here's my thing though. Is it fucking funny? Did, did not didn't it, did oh, it, it was if it hilarious it, all right, then <laughs> I f- I feel like art no comedy is like. an it yeah all offense <laughs> all offense comedy uh, is an art form comedy is an art form comedy everybody music, can do that every, everything is an art form it just it's all in the delivery if you can do comedy you can go on stage yeah if you can captivate an audience and if, if you can do the joke so well that it doesn't matter that if it's all it offends people or not then you're fine yeah my 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 greatest I heard this shit years ago. Somebody said, I want to be, I want. what type of success do you want? He's like, I want to be so successful. I want to be able to tell somebody to go to hell in such a way that they will look forward to the trip. Dope. That's that's dope to me. That's okay. what comedy is. If you can sell me on this fucked up ass joke, on this dead baby joke, or this uh, molestation joke, it's a, it's comedy. Yeah, It's comedy. It's and all subjective. Yeah. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. Turn it off. Yeah. But it's all in comedy. Like, uh, fucking Michael Che from SNL is in, quote-unquote, hot water because he called Caitlyn Jenner a fella. He, first of all, was referring he to is. when he or she was a was Bruce. He said, he said years ago, there was a fella named Bruce. He didn't call... Listen, I can't even... I don't know what she or it wants to be called. He didn't call her this name now, but everybody is, like, all up in arms. Oh, it's it's insensitive, and he need, he's, he's, he's disrespecting her gender. I was like, fam... Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't get this country. Bro. I don't get it, and like, I don't get it. And another thing too, I think that, I think that the reason why a lot of like African Americans like be like, get the fuck out of here with that shit, because we're still being wrong in the country, mm-hmm. and nobody's talking about things like that. Exactly. Well, you want us to care about oh this person's gender, that person's gender? Like, no. We still not even looked like, at as human. Yeah, yeah. my point. You know, you know. Yeah. And, and, and this I, 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 love, this see, I, I love seeing this conversation happen right now because I've got, I look like I look, so I have a lot of white friends. Yeah. <laughs> and I hear them talking about all these things. Oh my God, I can't believe he used, he used the R word. I'm like, what's the R word? Retarded. I'm like, come on, you can say, retarded is actually a scientific term also. Like, yeah. you can't just ban the word because you don't like the connotation to it. Yep. Exactly. Like, you, like you, oh yeah. Well, these people, they're, they're disrespecting the way that they wish, the gender they wish to be identified. And I'm like, I'm Hispanic. Yeah, I don't care if you're Mexican. I'm not Mexican. I'm Colombian. I don't know my where in Puerto Rico exactly. that is. So my it's like, exactly. you want me to give a shit about your thing, mm-hmm. but you don't give a shit about the thing I've been dealing with my entire life. Exactly. exactly. I know you don't give a shit about what's happening in, in, in the African-American community un- sure unless there's a, unless somebody's trying to get voted in. Exactly. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that, that's my... I, I wrote this shit down, you too. Know what, you know what irks me on a personal note, too? When people see people that are Asian and they automatically assume they're Chinese. Oh, man. Yo, yeah. that fucking gets me so upset, yo. Like, <laughs> yeah. it irks me <laughs> to my face. core. Like, this nigga just turned like, red. Yo, that shit irks me. Hey, where in China are you from? Like, bro, how you know she's not Korean? Yeah, how you like, know she's I, not like, from... Yo. Like, how you know she's not Cambodian? Like, Fili- Filipino. I hate something. that. So that's yeah. why, like, when I be engaging with people, I, like, even when I go up to, like, when I see, like, when I see like Indians and stuff, like I'm not sure where they're from. I ask them like, where in Asia are you from? Yeah. Because India, that That's Sri Lanka, Asia. they're in Asia. Sri Lanka, I, Asia. I'm happy. I'm not the only one who gets extra offended when Asians are wrong. Yeah. When when, they, when they're wronged, it's like, no, fuck you. These are like the nicest people in the world. Fuck they, you. Get yeah, it that right. Shit irks me, man. To the point where I got mad at a Chinese dude because his accent was straight out of a stereotype. I swear to God, I went. So there was this re- Chinese restaurant on Canal Street yeah. and Broadway, like right between Broadway and Center Street. Yeah, I go order. Somebody, a friend of mine, told me it's really good. This is where all the Chinese people went to eat. So I'm okay. like, all right, that's gonna be legit. That's gonna be. So spot. I go in. I'm like, hey, let me get a pork fried rice. He's like, you want pork fried rice? <laughs> what? I'm like, you fucking with me? He's uh, and I looked at my friend. I'm like, he's fucking with me, right? He's like, no, no, no. That's 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 how he talks. I'm like, yeah, pork fried rice. He's like pork fried rice. I'm like, Ben, if this guy gives me fucking flying lice. In my bowl. <laughs> I'm going to be really pissed right now. He's like, no, 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 he's saying fried rice. I'm like, nobody really has that accent. Are you fucking kidding me? And like, I got mad at him for living that stereotype. The same way I get mad at Colombians who sell drugs. The exact same way. I took personal offense because I'm like, no, you guys aren't supposed to be this bad. Like, if you see a bad Asian driver, yeah. I get extra pissed off. <laughs> Hilarious. Because now I'm racist. <laughs> you bastard. You bitch, you. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm doing production shit. Sorry, I can't. Don't look at me when I'm doing production. <laughs> it's, shit. But I can't help but look. It's like yeah, a trailer. Uh, yeah. Don't worry about it. Oh <laughs> um, no. <nah. laughs> yeah, man. No, that you. you actually, I wrote this shit down because we're supposed to record like five weeks ago. Fuck these sea turtles too, for that matter. Now that we're throwing everything in there. I don't want these paper straws. I love I love the walk that this just took. I don't want paper straws. We had straws. a hard time talking I don't about want, Dolomite. Yeah, yeah, no, we do. <laughs> now we it, was, it was a great movie, Aren't by the way. Are they going to get mushy uh, after a while? They get mushy. I don't want metal straws. Jeff, you better not come over here and defend this shit. Nah, not oh. even. <laughs> Speaking of Dolomite, I just wanted to know, did Wesley Snipes ever fix his taxes? What's up with that? That's oh, he's straight now. He's straight. He good. I think they find him and they put him in jail. He ain't blamed No, he no fixed more. it by serving time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yo, to be honest with you, I was like, listen, you can either pay us $3 million or you can do four years. I'll like, ah, see you in four years. Yeah, four years. Fuck it. I'll do four years too. Ain't nobody going to touch him in jail. Three million is a lot of money. Three million. That's a lot of money. <laughs> I can work four years right Spike now. Spike Lee ain't casting lately. Right yeah. now, I'm not going to get three million. Not going to make three million. Yeah. No. Three square meals a day. You don't have to pay rent. Fuck yeah. out of here. Yeah. 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 That, like he probably was like in club fed somewhere, so he probably was able to order his chicken. Oh yeah, you know it's white collar yeah. prison. Yeah. Let's not pretend he wasn't yeah. in fucking Attica. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Marcus yeah, he, he was. He was hanging out with Bernie Madoff. Nice. But yeah, Dolomite was good. Uh, <laughs> it was a good movie. <laughs> Dolomite was, was a good movie, man. I, I definitely um, I'm I want to go back and now and watch those like black exploitation shits and see what, what cause that, all that shit was real. Dolomite is on YouTube. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's why I started watching them. I was I was trying to see if I can get like a thing, but yeah, YouTube is the only YouTube, place I can find the it. The original one is on there. Oh really? Not, For yeah. free? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's right there. Um, yeah, you, you guys done? You want to get into this? You want to do this? No, oh, fuck, you, no, 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 yeah. no, 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 I just, that's all I want to say is fuck these turtles and fuck the paper straws. I don't give a shit about these turtles. No, no, I don't care. Like, this lady, I went, I forgot the name of this restaurant, but I can't say it anyway. I fuck the baby Here, turtle. Hey, listen, 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 Sarah, Sarah, can I say you? No, can I see you here? She's here. Somebody's here. We're going to bluff it out. Them turtles ain't did shit for me, okay? <laughs> Not a fucking thing. Yo, you know what's crazy? At all. No, you, you know, At all. You know, what made me, you know what made me like turtles? I was on Facebook one day. Oh my god! They showed no, two turtles having it. sex. What the fuck are you into? Yo, it was on Facebook. <laughs> it was on Facebook. It was on Facebook. I know what you're talking about. Yo, the sound that he made. <laughs> yeah. I know what you're talking about. Oh, you talking about. about the turtles fucking? Yes. Yo, if you ever go to the zoo in Miami, Miami Zoo, there's this <laughs> one little section. You walk up. The turtles are always fucking. Yes. I've been going to that zoo every year since I was seven, and every time I go, that same turtle is fucking the same one. All right. He might have been fucking a rock. Once he ain't look like he cared. He's like, <laughs> listen, man. I've never I think, seen something so happy. I think we are doing them a service because they've been alive for 180 years. I think they're ready to go. Yes. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Put them straws in their not. I don't how give do we a know shit. that? How do we know it's not self inflicted? How do I know that sea turtle wasn't doing a line of blow? Yeah. Yeah. How do you know? You wasn't there. I, did, I went to this restaurant, like I said. Donna, and they it's been put, a rough life for Donatello. Oh my God. <laughs> they put the damn cup. On my table And I was like What is this shit He's like Oh we know we're doing Paper straws To save the turtles Bitch You got turtle On the menu That <laughs> makes no sense yeah, yeah, What do you do Give me yeah. my plastic straw Before I throw this shit I was so angry I, I don't want no pla Paper straw I don't care about these turtles Mind you the only cook turtle Yeah The only turtle I give a shit about Two of them Two of them Crush and squirt That is it Aww, Okay That's, that's it adorable. I, I don't give a fuck About no more of these turtles Fuck out of here! All right, Dolomite was great. That's that's yeah. that's all we said. All that to say this, Dolomite was amazing. Eddie Murphy's back. <laughs> um, can't wait for see coming to America too. Now, facts. Uh, I'm not gonna put him in the corner. Uh, he's he, been he's he, been in the corner. Did, didn't didn't the cor we name the corner, Kanye? He, he, I think he was the first person. We he was put the first in person we put in there. I love Kanye. I love Kanye. Everybody love knows Kanye. me, knows that I love Kanye. He's so, like, Kanye, he just, he said, he does what he wants, bro. He and does I, what he I wants. respect men like that. He says what he wants, and then we follow suit after. So, um, what, so what's the new thing that he did that got, that everybody's mad about now? The follow the Jesus album. No, no, not the Jesus album. He said something. Oh, he said that. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, go ahead on that. Basically, he said that black Americans don't. Have really any culture That's what we were Going to talk about Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. That's, it. <laughs> That's what we were Going to talk it. about We couldn't remember Alright Now I do think that Black Americans We inspire Most of America But we don't really 
own our culture. Like, if you go, like, to Def Jam now, Def Jam's ran by a white boy. Yes. You know, like, we created hip-hop, um, R&B, blues, rock and roll. That was all us. We really own nothing of that. We get problems when we get nominated to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame as rappers, and we created rock and roll. So, here's my rebuttal to that. Okay. Right. You're right. Okay. We don't own it. Okay. But it is still ours, if that makes sense. We, it wouldn't we inspire we inspire all that shit. Look, black culture, hip hop, uh music, period. I don't yeah. want and not just hip hop, music period. And Jay could attest this because he put me onto this as well. All that bluegrass shit, rock and roll, all that shit is is For us. Life. Yeah. That's us. Music Yo. period is us. Let me uh, let me chime in real quick. I'm oh, chime in. in. Go ahead. Honestly, I, didn't know you was I just gotta be honest. Like, black yourself, culture. Though. Well, yeah, what's good? I'm Ryan. How's yeah, it going? And that was Jay. Yeah, yeah, right. Sorry. But um, ahead, let me bro. just let me just say something real quick. All I gotta say is that black culture. It's not that it's not. It doesn't exist and it's not ours. It's just new. If you look at every other like race or like anything in the world, they've been geographically locked to where yeah. the fuck they're at the entire time. Yeah. So you got. Thousands of years of grandma's recipes. You got all mm. the fucking buildings y'all made, mm. fucking structures, all the shit, right? We don't have shit but the pyramids. And that, even that, they tried to take. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, we're figuring this shit out. We, yeah. we try, we're figuring it. <laughs> listen, <laughs> listen. Exactly. No, mm. but um, like, literally, they're just like, we're figuring this shit out as we go along, is what I'm saying. And that's, that's what's influencing everything else because, you know, that's all we got. And we have no unity. That's another thing. Is it? Yeah. That's another thing. Is it that we yeah. don't? Uh, is it that we're new, or is it that we don't know of our actual culture? Like See, we don't thing, know where we okay. come oh, from. Oh, you trying to go deeper now? Yeah, we're not, not, we're not about to do. No, our, no, I mean, no. I mean, we can, we can get deep, man. Because I had when I try to find out about my culture, and when I try to speak with a lot of African brothers, they don't want to be bothered. Yo, you want to hear the funniest joke <laughs> in the world? They don't want to be bothered. Like I remember, <laughs> this is fucked up, right? I remember I was in I, I live, I'm from Brooklyn Flatbush. I'm Flatbush. All right, so Crown Heights. What happened? <laughs> so <laughs> like from Flatbush, that. you know Flatbush is Jamaicans, yeah. Haitians, Asians. Guyanese, mm -hmm. Africans, Trains. a whole bunch of shit. So I must have been about maybe about seventeen. So I wanted a pair of shades. So like on Flatbush, there's like the guy on the side. He sells the shades. So the shades, I'm, mind you, I'm a kid. So he, I'm clearly a kid. You can tell I was a kid. Um. Trying to buy a pair of shades for five dollars. I'm telling you, I'm telling the guy, I'm like, yo, I only got four dollars and seventy cents, and I need those shades. Can I just give you four? He said, no, you're gonna give me the full four seventy. And I'm like, damn. I'm like, I know it's a business, but still, like, I'm a child. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. so I'm like, mm -hmm. yo. so I'm like, yo, like, you gonna take all my money like that? He was like, yes. Yeah. So I had to dump my wallet in his hand to get those glasses, and it's just like, damn, like they really don't like now. Push come to shove, my friend, I had a, one of my best friends, she's Nigerian. Mm. His parents hated me because I was black American. Like, everybody was allowed to stay in his house that was, like, African, but I had to leave at a certain time. Like, they're, like, it's, it's, it's a disconnect. It's a disconnect. Absolutely. See, that's interesting. I ain't, I ain't grow up with yeah. so I've, I've always been on the mind, like, because I know how intertwined, like, black people, and I, don't, I, I hate saying African American because not everybody's from Africa. Yeah. Um, Black people have been in America since at least the 1500s. Yeah. I've always kind of seen it. And because white people are so good at adopting things, white yes. people conquered the whole world for spices just so they could use ranch on everything. Disgusting. Um, they, they, you know, they, they're good at adopting things, but because black people have been here for so long and because they have been absorbed like their culture like fried chicken yeah. was a thing that only slaves ate because it chicken was too lowly of an animal for for the plantation Just like obviously. chitlins like that's yeah feces and all yeah. yeah you know what i'm saying and, and so it, it's like but those things have found themselves into american cultures like, i i've now i've always taken the approach that black american culture it's just American culture. Yeah. You know, it, like, the, because there are new contributions like hip hop, um, you know, that are, you know, at this point, we're seeing it being gentrified. Yes. Essentially. Yes. yes. But we weren't allowed to see rock and roll get gentrified. We, I mean, well, it's, it's not being gentrified to the extent that rock and roll was. You know what I mean? It's not. Bad Brains started punk rock. The band Bad Brains started punk rock. In Washington D.C. Scott is from Jamaica. I they know. are Jam my girlfriend. Jamaicans. They are <coughs> bad. They're Jamaicans with thick locks, not not the skinny ones. Mm. Thick locks. Mm. These are 
<laughs> These are punk rockers, and now as somebody who bad brains is. Yeah, nobody knows. Nobody knows. It's a very hard conversation to have. <laughs> like, and no they started knows. punk rock. They started. I didn't even know that. <laughs> yeah. Let me say this real quick. So you, you really gonna tell me? You gonna you gonna tell me that like just because a Korean is doing uh, rap that his, his bars can't be hard? Or just because no, a white person... No, 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 your bars... No, 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 Fuck the gentrification. No, no, no. Everything. Like Rich culture, Brain. That rapper listen. Rich Brain. That's my guy right there. Mm. Facts. I like Facts. him. That's I like him a lot. Rich Sugar. I like him. Sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I was like... I was just okay, so let me, let me clarify. Gentrif gent gentrifying... Gentrify may have been the wrong word. All right? I, 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 I ain't mean it like they like would gentrify in a neighborhood, and I'm sorry for that. That was the wrong. That word has the wrong connotation. But it's being absorbed into it's being absorbed into the greater American yeah. culture, is, is what I'm saying. Like, cause if, at first you a white rapper who snow, nah, in fama. You, you know, you Canada. <laughs> I blame you for snow, Ryan. Yeah, oh, but I'll take that. <laughs> and they go back. Oh, that's what a lot of, that's what Eminem gets a lot of. Criticism, but but no, it, it, so but what's happening is we're seeing it happen now, just like it happened with rock and roll, just like it happened with the blue. Well, the blues never really got adapted because it's hard to fake that. But jazz, like you see, like one of you ask anybody the top five favorite jazz musicians, Dave Brubeck's gonna be in there, mm -hmm. but without a question. The other four, the other four might, you know, you might get Duke Ellington, you know, you might get some more. Hello. Yeah, you you're gonna get more. Uh, but uh, you know, eventually, I, got, I gotta go record shopping with you niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. keep doing. <laughs> but what it is, if you know, eventually it just becomes part of the greater American culture. So I get yeah. what you're saying, where it's like it loses that. Oh, this is black culture because now it's not black culture. Now it's American culture. But I think that's one of the beautiful things about it because you don't see. You're just now starting to see my culture, like Hispanic culture. Starting to get absorbed into it, so now we're starting to feel like, all right, I've contributed to American society because at the end of the day, I'm fucking American. Yeah, my dad might have been born in Colombia, yeah. but. I'm American. Yeah. I was born here. This is my thing. I like to see my culture kind of... Represent people call it about, oh, it's cultural misappropriation. Fuck you. I like to see white people eating tacos. All right? Let's show me a white person eating an arepa. You know who I made just, that arepa? Yeah. A Colombian who just got I here. I had an Thanks. authentic Mexican taco for the first time maybe about... How, how long did it take you to figure out that the cheese wasn't coming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Immediately. Because yeah. I was... She, I was like, hey, like, it's not done yet. Where's the cheese? I don't, I don't even like onions. Like, I don't really eat onions like that. You ate the shit out of it, yeah. didn't you? That taco was the best fucking taco. Good tacos only I've need ever. onions and Yo, cilantro. I will never That's eat an it. American taco for as long as I live after I had a Mexican exactly. taco. Exactly. I'm I'm done. No, I'm done. I'm, I don't this is, you want to know what a staff meeting? Want at, you want to know what a staff meeting at Taco Bell is? Huh? San Diego. Yeah. Oh yeah, San Diego got See, But yeah. the thing is that the, the thing was that I felt very uncomfortable getting that taco. Oh, did you get it from the food truck? Yes. Yeah. I, I was very uncomfortable because my lady, she's Hispanic. Mm -hmm. So I'm walking with her, and I'm the black guy. So they just watch me. Like, where's she from? She's a uh, Puerto Rican. Canadian, I think Colombian, if I'm not mistaken. Oh shit! Okay. So like, I'm walking with her, and they're just watching me, like, Negrito. <laughs> like, yeah. I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, let me get my taco and get the fuck out of here. <laughs> so I just got my taco and bounce. Go. But I was eating that shit in the car. I was like, oh shit! I was like, I gotta go back here. I don't care what I gotta get through. <laughs> I'm getting one of these. I always love it when people are surprised that Hispanic people are racist. Oh. Spanish people are so racist. Yo, like man. Cubans, See, their racism are. transcends language. You know how a Cuban says a black uh, black guy? What? They point at their wrist and they rub it. Wow. <laughs> like, it's like, you to say, he's a good person, but he's. I think, <laughs> I think from my experience, um, I love everybody, but the the most racist um, Hispanics I've experienced were Mexicans. Yeah. Mm. And then yeah. my whole thing is that with Mexicans, like. In my opinion, you know, I'm not trying to offend everybody. Mexican women. Not trying to offend everybody, yeah, just yeah. specifically but Mexicans. No, no, on this I'm not even trying to offend them. <laughs> but look at what's going on now, now. Yeah. Mexicans are the niggas of their race, of the Hispanic community, in my opinion. Look how they're being uh, treated by everybody. They're lazy. They're not lazy. Yeah. They're, they're, no, they're the butt of a lot of jokes. Yeah, but, I compare them more to the Polish people of the Latin community. A lot Polish? of a lot of dumb okay. jokes are made on, on Mexicans. <laughs> Yo. You said Polish, and I'm gonna I'm not gonna lie to you. The first thing that came to my mind, I'm about to Man, I'm about to upset so many white people. This is Jeff. I'm about to upset so many of y'all right now. Irish people. I always thought Irish people were niggas. Yes. No? Oh, yes. no, Italians. Italians? No, Italians? No, no, man. Yeah. No, Italians, because yes. the Sicilian thing, I get that. Yes. No, I'm talking about like Irish people have been. Irish people like are funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they are yes. funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, no, you Native right. Americans and, are the first ones, but. And, I, you know, I said that Native Americans no. beta tested racism or beta tested <laughs> oh my slavery God. for oh. black people. Jesus Christ. No, 
Native Americans beta tested slavery for black people. Say no. Think about it. Uh, in America. In America. Think about it. All right, watch. Watch. Watch me do this. Tuskegee experiments. Hmm. Smallpox. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Hey, no, oh, yo, I read a book. I read a, you know what's crazy? I read a book. I read a book called oh We're not talking about God. I read a book called uh Oh my fucking god. I read a book called The New Jim Crow. Mm-hmm. And they were talking mm-hmm. about how slavery basically started off in America. And they said that the reason why they chose blacks to be slaves instead of Native Americans, because Native Americans were too unruly. They, they, they were ready to fight and die before they become a slave. Because they, they weren't starved people, on a ship for six months first. They said that black people were more comfortable with being slaves than the Native Americans. Ooh, and that's man. deep. You know what's that's so deep. crazy about that is the lack of forethought in the statement, whoever wrote it. Yeah. Think about it this way. It's a, it's a you woman also. Me, you mean to tell me you came to my crib and you want me to do what you said? Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right, you brought me to your crib and you want me to do what she said? I ain't got no ride back home, I guess. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. You fucking got me. <laughs> yeah, no, you, 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 to, yeah, you're right. Because you get here after a six-month cruise, you're like, I'm stuck. <laughs> Whereas the Native Americans like, you in my kitchen. <laughs> like, yeah. I know this better than you do. How are you going to tell me? No, but no, that but that's a big part of it too because you had these slaves that are coming out like these Africans they they want no punks. These people fought; they were from warring tribes. But you put somebody on a ship with dysentery and diseases and starve it, you know, just like shitty conditions. That's why. By the time they get here, you goddamn right they die. That's why anybody's dying. That's why too. Like my children, they're Haitian. Their mother's Haitian, Uh and and my uh, kids they have a problem. With going to Haiti because they're saying, "Oh, Dad, we're not gonna have no electricity out there." I was like, "Look, Haiti's guys, nice, man." Not, I had to tell them that. I was like, "Guys, you guys are Haitian." I said, "You come from a pro- you come from people that fought for their, who fought for their independence." That's the first black country. I mm-hmm. said, "I had to tell them." I said, "Creole is a made up language just by a made up language from slaves, so they can disguise what they were saying from the master." I said, "You guys need to go to Haiti and see where you come from." Mm-hmm. I said, "I would love to go to Haiti. I'm not even Haitian." So I said, "You guys." Stop! Like I don't want to hear this shit again from both of you. Shit, voodoo. I mean, just just the history voodoo, on voodoo. Voodoo was, um, from what I was reading, I don't know how true it is, mm-hmm. but from what I'm re- what I was reading, <clears throat> voodoo was our first religion. Yeah. Are you ready for, are you ready for me to blow your mind? Okay. First things first, I want to start with I'm Haitian as fuck. Well, I'm Haitian, Jamaican, Dominican. Okay. Not We're not about to get in. My it's boule. Not yeah. boule. I, it's the same island. It's yeah. Same island. Say, Yo, continue. Listen, yeah. All right. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, funny enough, voodoo is the reason why. Well. Historically, how they like to paint the picture of the story is how Haitians won that revolutionary war that they were having. Yeah. Apparently, everybody didn't click up on everything. You know, it's a bunch of slaves. Nobody knows the language. They've been on this island for how long? Yeah. They're slowly starting. These are different tribes at that that have to try to formulate a language, like you said, bringing together a language from mixed languages. Yeah. Let's speak a little bit of Spanish, Latin. Uh, French and Fucking try to this, mix way, in guys. whatever we can with whatever tribes that make sense or have the same sound effects. I don't even know what they were doing. Yeah. But the one thing, like you said, the religion at the time was voodoo. The one thing that they had in common was that religion for the yeah. most part, ancestral worship. And they used that motherfucker to take back the night. <laughs> yeah, all right, Justin. Yeah, like that's at least that's what I know of. Yeah. Hmm. I yeah know no, and Santeria one. has a lot of the same. So Santeria was the same thing in Cuba. Yeah. And that was that was that was that was brought up by the slaves, and that was what it was. They were being forced converted into Catholicism because you know Catholics are good at that. We'll kill convert We'll kill you. Mm. And so what they did was they came up with Santeria, like the like Shango, the main god in Santeria is Saint Barbara. You know, they they, they just kind of they they kept their own tribal traditions and religions and kind of amalgamated Catholicism into it. Yeah. So they'd stop getting murdered by slave owners who were trying to convert them. Okay. But they could also maintain a little piece of their own identity. Okay. And Santeria became what it is. And that's why Santeria and Voodoo are so close, because they both have those same African roots. Okay. You hear something? Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, from my Jamaican side, um, Stop playing. These niggas be rubbing oil and shit on the wall. I peeped that shit one time, my nigga. Y'all niggas think it's a goddamn joke. Yeah. Nigga, I was out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was out there. I remember um <laughs> my uh one of my one of my best friends, my one boy Jimmy. We was I was by his uh his girlfriend's house and the aunt and her little brother lived there. And the aunt was bathing the aunt was bathing this the the nephew in leaves. 
saying something in Creole. I was like, oh, it's time for me to leave. Mm. Like, I didn't understand it. Like, I was like, oh, I don't want to be around this shit. I don't know what's going on in this house. I'm out. You know, I can so, say some spooky shit. No, no, hold up. Not in these dreams. <laughs> not right now. No, no, no. Well, spooky shit. Let me put y'all no, real no, quick. No, no, don't. No, hold on. Mm, I don't do that. Uh, <laughs> no, but you know what's crazy? No, no, no. You know, you know what's wild, though? I think about it a lot. We were brought over here, what, 400, 500 years ago, not knowing about anything about our past, not knowing about yeah. our own religion. And we were made to, like me, I was conditioned to think that voodoo and all this other yes. shit is evil spirits yes. and all that shit. And yes. it probably isn't. It's not. I'm still scared. Yeah, I'm sleeping at home it, tonight it, it, it by is myself, what so we're not doing yeah. that. But yeah, to be honest. Yeah, no, you're right. But there's the, good the and bad scary spirits, there's good and bad intent. <laughs> absolutely. And the scary thing is, we don't know. Like we don't know nothing about it. I, mean, I, I was talking to somebody about this the other day. How was it that slaves wasn't allowed to read anything, but they gave us that Bible? That makes no sense. Like I'm not are you are anything because else of, is, because the soul, your soul needed salvation. Here's my thing, man. Mm. Here's my thing. And this is what gets me. Like why? Like I don't understand how the black community is so devoutly Christian. Oh my God. Yeah, I, I really don't understand. It's just because the history is, it was for, you were forced converted. Yeah, I do believe there's a God. Yeah, yeah. But believe, I'm not really sure that if it's through Christianity. I believe in a higher power. That's like, my. Main I believe thing. there is a yeah. God. Like I speak to God. Yeah, like no, I know there's a God, but who? Is God necessarily through Islam mm. or through Christianity? We don't know. Here's I, the thought. I can't say that because... Here's the here's thought. Jesus is mine. And keep the rest. No, no, Jesus is king, according to Kanye. Yeah, We're going to get back and, to that soon. And, <laughs> and, and, and I get that. Like I'm not here to, to downplay anybody's religion, but me personally, when I read up on how how we were treated by people from Islam mm. and when I treat when I read about how we were like we could see how we were treated by Christians and Catholics mm -hmm. right now in this country mm -hmm. so it's like, it's very hard for me like I'm conflicted right now yeah so it's like I know God is real I feel it in my heart but like I'm like kind of like scared to like kind of admit that because after all that's happened to my people mm-hmm you know, like, you know, I'm, like, I'm really conflicted right now. Like, yeah. I feel bad for thinking that there is a God. I don't know who he is, though. But I kind of feel bad, oh, like, shit. on one end. But then it's like, when I'm in a jam and I've seen so many things happen to me, mm -hmm. and he got me out of... Uh, exactly. Out of, so it's like, like I'm conflicted, bro. It's, it, like, it, it and, it, and it hurts. It is. It is. It is. So yeah, it I'm going to say this. This is, a, this is a thought that I've had before. More than likely, the reason why black people are so... I never admitted that to anybody, by the way. ...to oh, the biblical... That you know, Jesus or God that they've, you know, over time has been painted. When you take someone and you break them down and you say to them, well, there is salvation somewhere. There is someone who's not like me, may have my face, but gives you, you know, hey, you too can be washed away of sin. You too can be better than the next man and not better than the next man, be a brother to the next man, whatever it is yeah. that turn the other cheek. It's just, it's in a sense brainwashing, but it's the only hope that you have left. So, of course, you're going to go. And my whole thing is that if God is real, he has to answer a lot of questions for me. Because it's like, you're real. How is this person... Suffering the way they suffer. Yeah, like, yeah. why is this? Why does this five-year-old have cancer? Mm -hmm. Why is there Africans in Libya being used for organ parts? Yeah, yeah absolutely. You know, why, why did this woman out here who's minding her business get raped by this guy and you didn't intervene? I'm going to be honest. Like, it's like, crazy, son. Uh, what at least in my opinion, at least where where my heart's at on it, I, you gotta take into account that if God is God, He didn't just make Earth, He didn't just make black, whites, Hispanics, wherever. He made all of it. I mean, the black shit, the suns, the other planets, all of the everything that you can't fathom. So for one person to die, and we don't know what that even means, really, when they're dead in the ground, that's their body. Okay, you don't know so where else the other man. shit is. Why did you know what I'm saying? why did you can't good and bad is what I'm saying. Good and bad is a human construct. Okay, but all right, That's I see what you're is. saying. That God, He can't do everything. But okay. why why did He save the Hebrews with Moses, and why didn't He save the African Americans mm. within our 450 years of captivity in this Bro, country? Like. <laughs> like, <laughs> see, that's that. See, that's a that's the problems that I got with God. Mm. Like, you can't like. Like he's like he's he's funny, bro. Listen, like I gotta meet him. If I was, <laughs> he's funny. Yeah, I gotta meet him. I gotta meet him. I would use free will, like the easy button from Staples. What's your question? Free will, fam. <laughs> free mm -hmm. will. Why are these things free will? Like hmm. what you have the option to choose. So 
for someone else to have the option to choose may be the choice opposite to your own. Like, I don't know, man, because yeah, well, I'm not a father that gives my kids just free will. Like, there's rules. Yeah, like, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, but, like, so. even they can think differently. They yeah. They can choose differently, and then yeah. afterwards you can, you know, put together whatever repercussions come with whatever yeah. consequences. You know, whatever they've done. I, yeah, like, it's just... There's so many polar opposites to what could be said as to why things happen the way that they happen. Yeah. There's just, they're just... It's life, man. Like, we be chilling, man. We be chilling. <laughs> I mean, I like the atheist approach to things. Oh, God. Ain't, ain't none of it real. Ain't none of it real. <laughs> ain't, ain't, ain't none of it real. But my, my, my I, look, I'm and I'm an atheist. I'm 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 a polite one. I'm not an anti theist. I know that religion is very near and dear to a lot of people, and it does a lot of good. My brother's, for example, without my brother, if he didn't find religion, he'd probably be in prison. So I get it. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I, I I get I get I get the appeal. I I never considered what you were talking about, Jeff. Where like the reason the black community held on to Christianity for so long and so tightly is because that was the only hope they had. Yeah. That never occurred to me. That that yeah. and that's that's a fantastic explanation. And you gotta if you think if you think uh, if you think the Christians did yeah. us bad, you gotta read up on how the how the Muslims treated us. Oh my God! Oh, yeah. oh my no, no, no. It, God! It, it, you gotta it, read about that. It, one. It's it's all bad. Yeah. To to me, my idea on religion is essentially people fighting over whose story is better. Yeah. Mm. Like the, to, that's what it seems like to me. Um. Early on. Some kid asked his dad, why is it raining? And he didn't know. Yeah. So he made up a story. And it was a big, fantastic, it was a good, his dad was a good storyteller, wanted to answer his son's questions, wanted to maybe impart a lesson onto his son. Okay, cool. Then he said, why is the sky blue? And he didn't know. So he came up with his answer and he just kept telling that story. And eventually that kid told According his kids to a story. Space it's place, a pyramid scheme. Blue light mm -hmm. is... Like that, that's that's, a, that's a, literally how I see religion. It's just like somebody told a story. It stuck. And it just kept growing or and growing really and growing. Yeah. Or, yeah. or or a really bad mushroom trip or whatever yeah. your perception is. But it, that that's how religion started for me. And that's what it is. To me, it was just people trying to make sense of their world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? In, in the stories of... Because religions change. Christianity's only been around two thousand years. We've had religion before that. We had the you know the proto proto um, Indo Europeans had their own religions and their own gods. The Sumerians had their own religions and their gods. And it's just you know the more we learn about the world, the more understanding we develop of the natural world, the yeah. less you know the more religion evolves. Because now we don't have now any Christian you talk to will tell you the sun goes up and it goes down because the world the earth rotates around the sun and that's the way they know that. But back in the ancient Greek religion, you had Hermes. Yeah. Or Apollo, rather. Apollo was coming up. Uh, you know, He rose the sun. He raced across the sky and he put it down. Because they didn't understand Earth rotation. They didn't see how that was the thing. The still believes that. Greek, um, what, what, uh, the Hellenistic religion is what they're calling it. Because it is there is a resurgence coming back in it. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! Talking about BLB and flat earthers. Oh shit! I didn't know. All right, yeah, no. The, Hel the Hellenistic religions are made, uh, There is a small group that's trying to bring it back, but to me, and that's why it is. It's just what to me, religion has always been. Just what story makes the most sense to the most people is the dominant religion, and that's my aspect of it. And again, I don't shit on it because again, that's what makes sense for most. For me, atheism makes sense. Like the people are like, oh, so you think it's just all coincidence? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Without a, that, that's what makes and it I so struggle, magical. I struggle with being an atheist so at one point because they'd be like, "Yeah, I don't believe in God," but in deep down in my heart, it's like, "Yo, I shouldn't have said that." See, no, see, that, there's yeah. two because yeah. there's two types of there's two types of there's two types <laughs> yeah. of atheists, and I use the quotation marks because depending on where you are falling, it is I, I not to be self serving, but there's the atheist like me that I just I, I don't think religion was ever real. I, I I just think that like what I just explained, and there's other people that are mad at God. And those people say, like, I, I, fuck, I'm atheist. I don't and, believe in God. What the fuck has God ever done for me? You, that's, and that was me. See, that's, that, but that's not an atheist because you already not, God has never done anything for me. So you've already made that thing real. Okay. So that's immediately not atheist because you can't be mad at something you don't believe in. Yeah, exactly. You see what I mean? So that, so, and, that's, you, and that's where you got to find, for me, I just tell everybody, find your truth. Find your truth. Find what works for you. If that's the version of reality that you, makes you feel better about living, Cling to it, defend it, mm -hmm. protect it, learn about it. I ain't gonna shit on you for it because yeah. at the end of the day, we're all just trying to get to tomorrow. 
Facts. I like yeah. this. I like this conversation that we stumbled yeah. upon. Uh, we are not going to get Dolomite Kanye. was great. Dolomite was amazing. <laughs> yeah, Dolomite was uh, we are going to talk about Kanye a whole nother time because we... We never talked about Kanye, did we? At all. At all. But no, that's fine. This was great. I'm just waiting for the meme. I'm Jesus, just waiting. Jesus is king. We're going to end I'm, with that. I'm just waiting for the meme that of the Jordan. the episode. Yeah. <laughs> we, we, we might get sued. We might because, get sued. Because, of what, because of what Kanye said, I'm just waiting for the George Bush meme to come out saying Kanye West does not care about black people. That came out already. It came out. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, it's out. It's a thing. It's out. It's a thing. Is it really? Oh, yes. God. I need to get on social media more. It is a thing. It's been all right. Um, well, all right, guys. Good. I um, feel like I'm good. I'm on the same wavelength as, as society. I do <laughs> appreciate this conversation. It was way better than the Kanye thing I had planned. Yeah. I don't even want to do it no more. Uh, we're not. We're not going to do it. Um, yes, this was good. I like the, I like, I like the perspectives from everybody here. And, we need and more mics. We need more mics, number one. Yeah. And people... This right here, you see how we all talked about this religion shit and had a conversation? This is it. Yeah. Not an argument, not a disagreement. We we may not agree with each other, but you know, we respect each other's opinion. We, are, we were able to listen to each other and get everything out. Whether it's comedy, whether it's Dolomite, Kanye, religion, it was all great. This was a great show. I do appreciate all it, all of it. Uh, so. We're gonna we're gonna wrap this one up though. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, for episode 81, 81 of the Pop Song Podcast, uh, I am your host, Raul. We had Isaiah. Say what's up to the people. Yo, what's up, y'all? Jeff. Yo. And Ryan on the yeah. Witcher shirt. Yeah, man, we appreciate all the love and support that you guys uh, have done. Not and, a problem. Um, Don't forget where you can find us. Back. Find us up on social yeah, media. Yeah, I was, I was getting hey, to it. you know, give us your thoughts. Give us yeah. your opinions. Let us know what you think. Interact with us. We enjoy the engagement. Yes. Um, we're, we're back. We're, we're recording semi-regularly yes, now. Yes. Eventually, we will get back to a weekly pattern, hopefully. Yeah. Um, but in the meantime, check us out on social media. Drop mm -hmm. us a line. Let us know what you think. Give us some input. Tell us if you like the guests. We'll have them back on. Uh, you can hit us up on social media, on Twitter, at the Pop Song Pod. Hit us up on Instagram or Facebook, at the Pop Song Podcast. You can even send us an email if you want to go old school mm -hmm. at nodadjokes at gmail.com. And if you really want to go old school, we'll get a P.O. box. Facts. Hey, Bro, what can people call us? You give us a call at 321-405-2219. Uh, leave us a voicemail. Send us a dad joke. Send us your opinions on any and everything that we talked about today. Send us dad jokes. We miss playing those. <laughs> yes, please do. We do. We do, we do want to go ahead and get that back up and running. Uh, Jeff, Ryan, y'all got anything y'all want to plug? Yeah, and uh, Epstein didn't kill himself, so... Yeah, there you go. Oh, shit. You forgot about that. <laughs> Epstein Jeez. was mitered. He's mitered. Uh, <laughs> Jeff, anything? Jeff, anything? Um, we're doing a show. Oh, yeah. So, uh, I've heard about that. Yeah, Plug that shit. we're, doing, we're doing a radio show. It's called Fuck Mondays because, um, you know, what are you uh, doing with I'd that I'd love day? to be on that show, too. <laughs> this, this, is, this is funny enough what you're doing on that day. You're yeah. listening to this because you ain't got... Like anything better to do on your Monday, let's be honest. Awesome. You're going to listen to this. Mm. You're going to listen to the other podcast. This is not really a podcast, it's a radio station. Mm. And uh, fuck Mondays. Where yeah. can we find it? SoundCloud, because um, I'm playing music and uh, I don't want to get sued. Yeah, you SoundCloud. Get sued. SoundCloud. Got you, got you. Isaiah, don't sue me. No, no, no. <laughs> Isaiah, anything you want to plug? You don't sir? ask at uh, on that expense. Nah, I, I, I would typically plug my uh, Facebook in and stuff, but it's kind of like. It's a lot of arguing on my page right now. So once yeah. that gets uh, once that gets better, I'll all right. uh, yeah, because I'm very opinionated and everybody doesn't agree with me all the time. So because they don't know how to have conversations, bro. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it is, man. You brought up a good point. This is good that we could just have talk. Yeah. Like just I, I know I don't agree with a lot of you on a lot of things, but I still respect the shit out of you. Exactly. Good people, and that's how it's supposed to be. That's all yeah. that matters. Yeah, We're allowed to disagree. Absolutely, you're not allowed to be an asshole about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. that's it. Well. Well, that's it. That's a, that's a lesson for your kids, folks. Don't forget on our end, spoil kids, not movies. And please, no dad jokes. Peace. Yeah, peace. <laughs>